It is I, Munchie, the rowdy fucker, asking you, n no, begging you to not click off this video. I get it. I really do. It's scary. Endless war is intimidating. It's weird and esoteric. The skill floor of participating in the community and slash or the game is so ludicrously high that no mortal that wasn't there from the very beginning could ever hope to understand it. Right? Wrong. Although this lecture is primarily a history of the game and an explanation of its culture and lore, I need to stress something to you right now. None of it matters. You have been lied to. Endless War is not the unparsable nightmare Digibro has led you to believe it is. New players join the server every day. The skill floor of participating in the community is liking the color green and being funny. That's it. Playing the game isn't even hard, but even if it was, it doesn't matter. Talk in the detention center. Post art and community service. Hang out and outside the lunchroom. Do any of these and you will be welcomed by the community with open arms. Text commands take an afternoon to understand and a week to master. It really isn't that hard, trust me. Here, let's play a game. Look at this image. Do you like it? How about this one? Or this one? How about this song? Violence and rage, the war was fucking on. It wasn't Pokemon, it was click, exclamation point, kill, and you're gone. Or this one? Baby, tonight, the kill is trying to cap the map again. Cause baby, tonight, grab your pudron slime and bolt again. Bolt again. If these resonate at all, you have what it takes to play Endless War. At its heart, the service is a celebration and an exploration of its own aesthetic and user generated culture. It is a form of role-playing in which your in-game character blends with your internet persona and fades seamlessly into the ever-growing world of New Los Angeles City, aka Neil Milwaukee. These forces combine to create a whole greater than the sum of its parts. All of the community leaders that created those pieces of bona fide canon started out right where you are right now. No one started out knowing how to exclamation point kill. But now they've been through the ringer and made names for themselves in the most prolific, talented, insane, and downright based community I've ever experienced in all my years online. Now, go mine some slime. I'll catch up with you later, Juvie. P.S. At the day of this video's release, the game is in sort of an intermission right now. We're between two major parts in the in-game story. As such, most of the game is in a state of diegetic lockdown. This is actually perfect for you if you're a new player, however. Now there's no game to overwhelm you even if you wanted there to be. Click the link and ask around to see what's happening. Some gangsters will show you what's up. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> Rowdy! Fuckers! Cop! Killers! In the Endless War Lecture! Bitch! Sorry for the bad audio. It's gonna be like... Sorry for the bad video. You... And, and the bad... <laughs> Charisma. Everything charisma. for the bad charisma, yeah. for the bad planning, for the bad con, for the bad product, for the bad show, for the bad game. They're gonna learn all about it in this YouTube video. Audacity look good? Yeah. Video look good? Mm -hmm. Let's get underway. Ben Saint, who are you? What? I'm the cop killer. I'm I munchy. kill cops, and I have purple child soldiers that kill cops for me. <laughs> and I am bah! your mortal enemy, Munchie. Where's tiny hats? The rowdy fucker. Can I get a thrash for my own? Thrash! 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 Killers! Killers! Down! 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 Thrash! Down! And me and Ben are.
are kingpins <laughs> in a virtual city you all may know a lot about. But We're there here. are equally as many of you who have no about RCK, who know about Endless War, but are just too fucking brain dead and honestly intellectually lazy, intellectually uh, misinformed, and just you know do not want to seek out the sterile. answer. Yes, yeah, sterile, Infertile. sterile. Um, and they do not want to seek out the answers for themselves. So we are here to spoon feed you the correct opinions and to get you red pilled slash back pilled such green pilled on slime, endless war, and RFCK. It all started. Long, 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 long time ago. In the magical year of 2016. Are you fucking no, really? No, 16. No, the, the first time oh, I was Oh, no, you're right. It's 2016. 2016. Dude, well. that Obama. <laughs> Obama <laughs> was in the fucking White House back then. Oh, what the fuck? Obama. 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 Me, you, fucking Davu of all people. Yo, frame, take this fucking. Yeah, I don't frame. want this shit either. <laughs> Yo, woo, woo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, me and you and Davu made a fucking quote unquote let's play. That was just a podcast was, of our voice recordings while just we, talk, we played. We just talked over playing throne. Nuclear Throne. But there was no gameplay footage in it. And I said, what should we call it? And you said, why don't we call it the Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers? And I said, sure. <laughs> why, why not? Let's uh, do it. And so RCK is a show that's basically avant-garde let's plays, I guess I would say, like art house let's plays. Uh, very many sagas have overtaken. For the thinking man. For the thinking man. Such as uh, the Brony Drama series, where we started beef with a bunch of, dra of drama yeah. YouTubers in the Brony community. Mm -hmm. um, that was great. That was a great fucking time. That was a whole arc. Remember, mm -hmm. remember when you were threatened to be kicked in the dick at BronyCon? You, yeah. you, were, you were not kicked in the dick whatsoever? Well, <laughs> we kicked each other in the dick. Yeah. We, we mutually did it in a bond of friendship. All these bundles of laughs and all these uh, hours and hours and hours and fucking hours and hours and hours and hours of video recording culminated in one day me and Ben wanted to make a Twitch streaming we wanted, channel. We wanted to Nuzlocke uh, uh, Gale of Darkness. Get, because I, ta I talked up how uh, good it was. You've been and, uh, telling me how good these <laughs> shitty, these <laughs> shitty off-brand <laughs> Pokemon games are. Are for I remember years, them from my for childhood. Years, from my childhood. Me for not having I, played the Gale of Darkness. In the Nintendo Switch episode of RFCK, I talk about how good XD Gale of Darkness was. And uh, let's the just say the seed, the seed, the, 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 the seed was planted. The seed had been planted. And so we started the Twitch yeah. stream. And in that stream, in the very first stream, the concept of there being two different fan bases for me and Ben, the concept of there being two different types of <laughs> Very well. Who followed me and Ben arise? <laughs> and though it took me forms in these trial periods, okay. it solidified right. as the killers, the, the killers, and the rowdy. Because we were the rowdy fuckers, cop killers. And we wanted to take this concept so, and expand it. We, so we were, we made the Twitch stream, and we thought we should have a Discord server. Yes, because that's just what you do. Yes, that's just what's expected. Listen, of you. okay, okay. Listen, you guys may think, oh, listen, I've known Ben and Munchie for like how many years now? Like I'm like their friend. <sighs> You fell for the marketing ploy, my friend. This is just user engagement talk. Fuck yeah, dude! Can we get a fucking one for brand awareness? Brand awareness. One, 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 one. SEO, 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 SEO. So the idea was, we would make the Discord server, and it was like, ha, ha what if you had to pick a team? You had to ha! pick which side you were on. There were like two roles, like what if you could like, like P, like exclamation like, point, are get role? Are you gonna be team Edward or team Jacob? Are you gonna be team Ben or team Munchie? And like, what if you got, what if you had to like, fight with the other team? And what if like, you would get really mad at each other? And what if, and this was fucking crazy, yeah. what if, you were arguing, and you were talking smack, and you're just, you're trading insults with someone who's on the other team, and you fucking hate this guy, and you could just be like, let's settle this in Discord. And what if you could just go into Discord and just kill the motherfucker, just as like a final punctuation mark on whatever insult you said. And whoever is dead on the ground, they lose the argument. It's like, that would be a pretty fucking wild thing and to what, do in a Discord server. And what would be the central focus of this game? Quote from Ben Saint. When thinking of emojis to add to the server. Quote from Ben Saint. This is real. What's more RFCK aesthetic than slime? <laughs> <laughs> and so, slime, RFCK, and the game were born. Not all together at first. I added a fucking shitty, like, Google search, like, how to get 
bowl rolls in Discord <laughs> bot called Pancake Bot, which we used. It was wholly inadequate. And, and Ben, and I said, and, I said, wow, this looks pretty advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> actual quote, <laughs> actual quote from inside this yeah. pretty advanced. Two can Pancake Bot. I don't bot. understand how this robot works. I don't want to. Well, then we know that we're going to become fucking whiz kids and alchemists, <laughs> modern day potion makers, yeah. because you're friend and dear friend of the show and god king bull okay, well purple man. okay i tried to do it myself i tried Good to work. learn python from scratch and i spent like days and i had just figured out how to like add like five to three and like get it to like <laughs> yeah. a number out and then and then our friend crack was like hey i actually code i do programming like I can just I, do i'm it competent on any level and he did it in like a day yeah so, like, <laughs> so he just he just made and it. he just made it and that was the beginning of the actual bot Endless and, war. and so, Endless War is released on nearly two years to the day of the first RFCK coming out, literally just two days prior, Endless War releases, made almost completely by Crack, and for the majority of Season 1, and in fact, I think all of, the, uh, all of Season 1, it was made by Crack and you, try, like, failing to send updates to the game, would, like, like, you would code shit, and it would I be like... I would, like, try and, like, backwards analyze his code, try and be like, oh, okay, so if that does this, and that does this, then if I do this, it should do that. Cool. And then I would you send, send it, it to him, him and he'd be like, hey, no. this was all wrong and I had to fix it entirely. I just redid the whole thing. Yeah, I'm like, good try. Good try. Yeah. Keep going. You'll make it. So, alright, so now now here's the big question. Here's what all the Digibros of the world don't understand. What is Endless War? Well, me and all my friends can tell you quite easily Endless War is a free text-based MMO RPG playable entirely within a Discord server using text commands. What does that mean? Oh my god! You basic context clues? Basic, you know, English literacy? What the fuck is that? It's easy. All you need to know is that Endless War is a bot that lives in a Discord server. While you're in the Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers Discord, you can say something very, very simple. Something like exclamation point harvest. And Endless War will respond to you. Don't do that one, though, because you might, you might not like what he That's sends to you. That's not a command. That's not That's a command. That's not a command. Do not use it. Um, and we just build upon that to create other things, more okay. complex systems. Okay, so ba basically what it, the game is is a MUD, a multi-user dungeon. Mm -hmm. It is massively multiplayer. Yes. It is like, it is, it is a real-time... It is like a, it is a real time RPG, basically, yes. where you gather resources, specifically slime and others, and you spend slime to hurt another person's HP, and you kill each other, and you pick teams, and that's it. At the mm -hmm. core of it, that's the game. And that's there's all other, it is. And there's other resources that you use that you can do farming, and you can there's crafting and things like that, and yeah. fishing and stuff. And but all that comes later. All that comes yeah. later. At, at, this, at this point, point in the game, it's, it's nothing. It's, it's, no, it's literally just nothing. Slime. It's just do you have slime? Use yeah, slime if, if to yes, kill. destroy. <laughs> if not, you are dead. Start, try again. At, at this point, the game is mind slime, shoot slime, get shot by slime, die, revive, mind slime. That's all it is at the very beginning. It's so fucking simple, I cannot believe that it takes anyone more than two fucking seconds to fucking get it. But this is the world we fucking live in, folks. This is it. Welcome to 2020, where Endless War is the most popular game on the face of the fucking earth yet. I know it's kind of cringy and embarrassing, but this is where we are in the point of human history. And, um, shit gets fucking wild really fast. Uh, things quickly get out of our hands, and, uh, the game quickly becomes, like, a bizarre fucking like, constant ARG that just spirals out of fucking control. We're, we are right... I don't remember. What happened next? Tell, uh, me, tell well, me what happened next. Well, everyone goes fucking crazy for it, and a bunch of people just start fucking splattering one another to the point where Crack, you know, he's a good guy, but, you know, he could not have anticipated the amount of people using this bot and the purposes of which they'd be using it for. And so there was a point where the entire server was glitched and no one could revive. And this is very important. Yeah, because so everyone the, who died stayed dead. Everyone who died being shot by slime at the very beginning of the game had to stay dead. And that's a very important term. Because people got so fed up with this shitty bot. Like, why am I even here? I just like RCK. The RCK. game's broken, bro. The I yeah, can't even play it. This I shit just fucking die. sucks. Yeah. And so, and so, Levy Jevy and the Lord of Ghosts, who's a very important name, remember that later, come up with the idea of permanently... Staying dead, being a ghost as a, as a protest, as a protest, as a protest against, uh, against the, the slime rat race yeah, yeah. that we've all been born into against our will. No more. So no more. They said they reject, game over. They reject us as kingpins. They reject us as everything. Then they reject slime itself. And so they vote to stay dead. Harrison, now we're gonna Anathema. we're gonna leave them in the sewers for now. But they will come 
roaring back by the end of season one. So just keep in mind that a bunch of ghosts and skeletons and shit are <laughs> underneath <laughs> the surface of the city, underneath in, the, in the sewers, streets. In so the everything we're about to talk about is above ground and below it, there's just a bunch of spooky shit happening. Yes, Levy Jevy. Could we all give a, a hashtag stay dead? Hashtag stay dead. Stay dead. Yeah. If you want to be a fucking stay dead loser, the I lowest know. cast of society. That's fucking sad. That's fucking sad. <laughs> Doopity schmoople. So, like, is this under on the day one, day two? Like, what's the general, like, timeline? Th right this is, like, basically fucking immediately, like, first, this like... This is, like, first week active. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fucking right. ground fucking floor. Well, and, that's something else. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> And so people are joining and joining the server. The bot becomes, you know, slightly stable and slightly playable whatsoever. And people are getting fucking into it. And so me and Ben think, ha, ha, ha. We got him. Fucking idiots. We got him. Fucking, <laughs> fucking idiots. Singer. And so we think, okay, what are some ways that we can keep this train rolling? What are some ways that we can keep not just, you know, the game itself alive, but the community that we want to? Again, how can we increase profits even further? How can we increase how can user we maximize engagement? maximize user engagement? And, and so, again, this whole game's going on, you know, it's a fight between me and Ben, we want to maximize the amount of shit-flinging and fucking, you know, fights that are breaking out in this game. And we want to make sure that every Rowdy and every Killer hate each other so fucking intensely that none of them would ever hang out with, with one another in any context, in any scenario, in this timeline, or without. And so, the first art contest, which is a very important part of RFCK, an art contest starts, propaganda for each gang. Ben, what's an art contest? Uh, well... It's when everyone in the server has the opportunity to post in the art contest channel. They post their submissions, and then we give them like two weeks or whatever, and then we all get together on stream, and we go over them one by one, and the kingpins, and we kingpins, like we pick our favorites, and we say, you win, you win, you win, are the rest of you losers? And the first, can the first propaganda contest was, you were like, support your gang, support yeah. your team. And, and, there were a and there were a couple of weirdos who decided to make propaganda for Stay Deads. And that was really cringy and embarrassing, yeah. Which, by the way, did we mention the juveniles? So, so are the ones that are not killers or rowdies. They're unaligned, weak cowards, and they can't even fucking... They can't even shoot a gun. They're the way, too weak to pull the trigger. The way the game works is when you join the server and you're a new player, when you first revive, you start as a juvenile. You have made no decision yet. You're not a, killie or a killer or a rowdy. Uh, and then once you get enough slime in, in this old version of the game, then you can spin that slime and enlist in the gang. Um, if you decide not to do that because you are ideologically opposed to the idea of gangs or you are a weak build fucking coward, imbecile idiot, mm -hmm. or if you're a Nate head, which is worse than that <laughs> by far, <laughs> then, then you can just stay juvenile forever. So the, the hierarchy is stay dead to the lowest tier because they don't even like slime. What the fuck's up with that? Juveniles, At least they, juveniles they, yeah. appreciate slime. But they are fucking, they're, they're slimy, but in like the traditionally like insulty sense. Yeah. And then you got rising killers, the, the Chad gods. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so, you know, there was a bunch of people making art, you know, for those two lowly gangs, uh, and they definitely did not deserve this. And this is really important, guys, because RFCK, it's three things. RFCK is the show, RFCK, me and Ben, the art we create, and the show we make together. It is the game, Endless War. It is all the funny hijinks that get up into it, all the slime, all the aesthetic, and all the world building. And it is three, SHUT THE FUCK <laughs> UP! <laughs> No fucking talking! <laughs> yes. I didn't say a goddamn word, and neither did he. Whatever. They, they just... <laughs> and, 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 it is three. The community is built around both of them, and the arc and culture is that's produced by it. And so, people... Dude, pass you hear that? Yeah, dude, pass me some fucking slime. Dude, I love slime! 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 That play the game, uh, never. Have literally never played the fucking game professionally on any level, but are household fucking names that people respect and people fucking love, and that people can look onto the art that they've created for the server and this aesthetic, and they can fucking, first of all, you know, reproduce what other people have made, you know, build upon the, the soldiers of, uh, shoulders of giants, and add their own unique spin to the world and develop it farther 
Uh, that's really what RFK is all about. So this propaganda contest is the first start of all that. There's slime on my foot. There's, we start. There's a there's a tradition. There's a sort of tradition we have, and it's basically that everything is canon. Yeah. Everything that anyone Literally makes every, of yeah. any kind it all is immediately canon, yeah. even if it contradicts the other canon. Yeah. <laughs> Levy Jeffy. The, the specific phrase is everything is both canon and not canon. At the same yeah. Time. We we all. It's just, all subject to change. Yeah. But who, it's also canon and who, immutable. Whoever's <laughs> canon is stronger, aka whoever likes it more and gets more comics yeah. that are derivative <laughs> of it. It is sort of like snow piles into a canon. Nothing starts out as canon. You have to get people to like it first. And when they like it and they make art of it as well, then it becomes canon. It's a very open-ended thing. Mm -hmm. Me and Ben basically started out with fucking no lore for the server. Basically nothing whatsoever. We had the idea of slime, the idea of gang violence. Well, there was just that picture of the RCK yeah, yeah, city that, 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 that had the obelisk with the eye in yeah. the background. You decided to make it And I just war. said, hey... What if we called the ser the servers about killing each other? What if we called it Endless War? Well, well, first what if that was Endless War? Why not? <laughs> well, well, first of all, Ben, there's well, no I, rules. I, I, God is fake. I just want to say that that you did not call Endless War for us. <laughs> you 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 geniusly called it Eternal War. So <laughs> there was it was two chains. Did I? Yeah, you did. Mm, okay. so, they, they can't all be winners, bro. <laughs> Cough. Ben specifically said. I'm going to make the ultimate bot eternal war. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking did! <laughs> and then I got someone else to make it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to my exact specifications. Um, I'm, the, I'm the ideas guy. And so <laughs> almost all the lore of the server, almost all of I'm mean, like all of the things that you know and love about Slime City are the result of the community. And it's because of the art contests like this. Yeah. Back on the gameplay side, Bevan, what did you spend 13 hours doing that one night? There it is. There uh, it is. Speak up and say what you achieved at the end of this. I achieved a mega slime. One million fucking slime. Uh, One million fucking slime! For, for, re for reference, yeah, it couldn't be done. For reference, this is like 20 slime? Something like that. This is like 20 Ten. slime. That's like revived slime. Yeah, this yeah, this is fucking nothing. Yeah. That's a fucking tumor comment. That's, that, that shows your fucking tumor <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> um... And so this is when people are fucking get really into it. They're spending hours upon hours of their fucking life grinding slime, making art for the contest. We have a personal legion of literal child soldiers. You know, in the lore of the game, it's that. But in real, in, real in real life, it also is that as well. Yeah. Yeah. People are getting fucking high off their own fucking piss in this fucking <laughs> server. Um, in real life, I want to be clear. In real life. And Thank so, God. And so... People are getting really happy about this game, and people are getting way into it. And so, and at this point, Ben and Crack are fucking on it. Ben and Crack like, are fucking doing like, it every day. I'm like day. up every night. Like, yeah. like, oh, what if, what were some fucking stupid ideas I had back yeah. then? I was like, like, what if... Slavery. Yeah, oh yeah, what if we added, what if we added chattel slavery yeah. to the game? <laughs> <laughs> what if we, uh, I don't know, I was always thinking of some dumb... Some big dumb thing, things shit. that are like so basic now that like we don't even think about them. Anymore. Yeah, you have a chance to choke on your food. When yeah, you what eat if you? What, yeah, what if you had a chance to randomly j die when you eat food? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, and I'm, I'm up like making bad code and sending it off to crack. To and, and then he fixes it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A and so one of Ben's aborted terrible game <laughs> ideas that actually made it into the final game itself changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> because prior to this point in the game, as we stated before, RCK is about the gang bounce. It's about mind slime and shooting people with it. That's the aesthetic of RCK. That's probably the most basic thing you know about is that there's slime and there's gang violence. And then uh, early on in the game, it, it, it's so weird to think about because all these things happen like days apart from one another. And season one is so fucking blindingly fast. This is only like two weeks after the server starts, but it completely just like changes what the defines the server. Here, ben, your toes land. Do you want to do you want to say anything about the stock market and oh, the, the, God. Fucking, the fucking nightmare that that was? Okay. I don't know why I thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you could take like what if you could invest what if you could invest your slime like me and crack were like workshopping okay me and crack share a certain aesthetic preference which is that endless war is better when it is more convoluted mm -hmm. and more stupid and more yeah. packed with pointless things that just interfere with each other yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i was like hey hey crack what if you could invest your slime and like the stock market would like vary, and you could like make investments it, and like it, get invest returns in, in, in cryptocurrency. Yeah, inv like. invest in cryptocurrency, and he was like, "Yeah, why not?" <laughs> so he just did it. So we, you know, he he made the chart and everything. Uh -huh. Like I, you know, I 
you know, I helped. I helped write the code. Um, uh, but you know, so it, we implemented this fucking this thing this monstrosity. You, it was not slime coin at the time. At the time, it was called slime credit. Yeah, and, would, then, cre and, then, and then everyone thought that was terrible, and then yeah. they changed it to slime coin. You would invest your slime to get slime credit, and the value of the, the exchange value would vary yeah. according to an algorithm, which like we changed it a bunch of times because it kept fucking up. And it, and it, it catastrophically failed over and over. It was the system was basically characterized by repeatedly catastrophically failing. Yeah. Um, so I want because of the slapdash nature of Endless War production in season one, and because of a, the fact a, a proud tradition we maintain to yeah, this yeah. very day, and, and because of the fact that every idea gets started with, dude, what if you could not be so fucking stupid if this was in the game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would add it immediately, and because of that, the stock market. Ballooned everyone's fucking slime to well, unbelievable well, degree. Well, first it crashed and ruined everybody. Oh, well, sure. And then it skyrocketed. And the few people who got in at that point became like ultra wealthy to the point yeah. that they owned the entire economy. Of, and, and, um, and, and, and these people are the ground floor they were boys. Called I'll, ground I'll get to you guys boys. in a fucking second. Because <laughs> the ground floor boys are important. So the people that were at this ground floor at the the, the point of the uh, the market's history and before it skyrocketed again, these people are following legendary, legendary community members. And it's important that you know these fucking people's names because you need to know that one day, in the sequel to this lecture, one of these names could be your name, dear viewer. That's so if right. you work hard and you join the oldest anarchy server in Discord, <laughs> then you can, uh, then, then you, you too could be a, a slime coin millionaire. You got Can Man. You got Investor. You got Malinex. You got Thalamus Dredge. And you got the big... Gay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Tough. Uh, about the stock market yeah. initially, what influenced the fluctuation of the market was the amount of individual users posting messages in the server. So what happened was the market like came out and then it started crashing, and you guys released the uh, getting over it with Bennett Fo Foddy yeah. uh, video, and a ton of people joined the server. Yeah, yeah. And so all of the people that had invest that just had happened to be invested, mm -hmm. their slime was like. Skyrocketing okay, to ridiculous the, the, levels the graph, the, because of all the new people typing in the server. Okay, yeah. the graph initially it looked kind of like this. Yeah, and then there was the crash down to nothing, and then the week later that initial like fluctuation was like a down here like a like a margin of error, and then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, so, like made it totally irrelevant. Uh, uh, listen, listen, slime credits the hot shit. Dude, get fucking in on that. Uh, so, 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 Dupity. Yeah, Dupity. You like skip slime fest one. Did we skip Slime Fest? Uh, we're going to talk about that afterward. Yeah, Not up. everything's yeah. in chronological order. This is the way it's easy to part for these fucking people, people. They right. don't fucking care that Slime Fest 1 technically happened before this. That doesn't fucking matter. All that fucking matter. matters is that it's easy to understand. Because listen, Digibro, I'm fucking telling you, dude, it's not that fucking hard. Just fucking listen to us, please. You're going to complicate things even more than you have to, Dupity. Were you going to say something? Yeah, just to be clear, when we say, like, it skyrocketed, we're talking, like, millions. Like, Bevins was, like... Baby shit. Yeah, the, a million slime. Like, previously unfathomable amounts like, of slime. Like you had initially invested at a, at something like maybe like ten slime coin, slime to one slime credit, mm -hmm. and like you were you were getting it out at like billions. Yeah, so like <laughs> no, 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 something like so, that. So, so, so investor, one of the ground floor boys, was the first person to get a giga slime, which was. One after after slime. stocks came out, like all the other game, like for the ground floor boys, the rest of the game became irrelevant. Yeah, it was no, all no. about the stock market. So uh, again, it was all about mind slime, shooting people, going around the seats, being a child soldier, making fucking art, going around town, trying to be, hey, dude, let's fucking let's go around the combat zone, dude. I hear some fucking killers are playing right now. Their fucking PVP flag wore off, and they stopped. You know, their poster fell off the fucking floor. <laughs> the, 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 the wall. That doesn't fucking matter at all. Violence is completely irrelevant. It's all about getting that mad cryptocurrency. It's, it's literally it's just about watching the stock, like staying up all night watching the stock, like setting your alarm for every 15 minutes so you can check the stock market. And that's not hyperbole. 
The Czar of Commerce, which you'll understand that reference in a second, Can Man, one of the Grand Floor Boys, literally stayed up all fucking night, every single fucking night, with a 15-minute Promoto timer on his fucking phone to check the stocks in this fake fucking not even real video game equivalent of a stock market. That what you get out of it is slime. And slime does fucking nothing. <laughs> so, you were the schedule. Now, there is one thing that slime does. Because, as you mentioned earlier... Well, I mean, it has many obvious uses. So well, obvious, in fact, that they don't even bear mention I, I mean, mechanic, to any thinking person. Me me mechanically, I mean, you know, spiritually and intellectually, slime is so obviously relevant that there's, you know, again, there's no reason... What, what, are, you, what are you fucking doing right now? What, ben! You're not going to save anything for go, me? Go on! Go on! Um... The point of getting slime and the point of shooting people is that you can get your team slime. You can get me and you, the kingpins of the Rise and the Killers, you can get us slime. So let's say that uh, a frame, you're a killer, right? Fuck yeah. And uh, Fat Yoshi, you are a rowdy, right? Yeah, bro. Fat Yoshi, let's say you shoot a frame. <laughs> then, Fat Yoshi, you win me, your kingpin, the rowdy kingpin, some slime. Yeah. And so that's the point of gang violence. And uh, all that shit, all that stuff that we accrued from the gang violence that happened before the stock market, me and Ben yeah. went to fucking town, and we stepped up to the fucking arena for the first ever Slime Fest. Fucking put the plate down. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> well, I lost, so. <laughs> um, you actually did lose, Ben, because yeah. uh, I was outnumbering you slime-wise, and even though we played Pokemon, and we got a bunch of shiny mucks, and we battled it out, we duped it over fucking Wi-Fi battles, uh, you still fucking lost and you ate shit. That's right. That's, what, that's how I remember it. You're better than me and you lost. I came in with less slime, we lost the same amount, but because I started with less, I technically... Lost. And, and this starts the truth. But I won the moral victory. Exactly, exactly. Because I was more courageous in defeat than he could ever be this in start, victory. This starts a long story tradition of Ben clutching the moral victory from the jaws of actual victory. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time. I always get it. He's, he's got it. So, what happens after a slime fest is, you know, we're battling with the slime that we have accrued from people. So what that amounts to, in this scenario, changing from game to game, is every mega slime we had, you know, every million slime, translated to one muck that we would use in a Pokemon battle, Pokemon battle against ourselves. We had two rounds because you had, I think, seven, and I had 13 mega slime. Yeah. If I recall correctly. Each, each mega slime was embodied in a, in, 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 in in a, a muck. muck. Yeah. Uh, it was very and, funny. It was my idea. And I, uh, I have all the best ideas. I'm I, the idea guy. I, you truly are, yeah. Ben. Uh, and uh, I killed all your mucks, and then all of his mega slime were gone. So the killers were reduced to two zero, and the Rarities had one or two mega slime. But again, that didn't fucking matter anymore because who fucking gives a shit about Ben and Munchie? This shit's about the stock market, bro. This shit's about fucking <laughs> cryptocurrency. So even though, uh, you know, quickly, by the time Slime Fest 2 rolls around, we quickly have, like, you know, what, like, quadrillion slime, each of us, and all of us are fucking robber uh, kingpins for a while, uh, you were reduced to zero in Slime Fest 1. So that, that's the, the basic gameplay loop here, is you mine slime, you shoot people, and when you shoot people, you get your kingpin slime, and then you're shot, and then they get their kingpin slime, and then you die and you revive. Have an announcement. Yeah. I literally broke my tooth. Really? Writing that, yes. Really? My what? tooth is broken. It, it, it's a little paper. Bit. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Ben. But I'm going to soldier on. Have it's you fine. ever brushed no. your teeth in your entire never. fucking I life? I should, no. It, 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 I, it's, I would never. It's, it's paper. It's if normal. I brushed my teeth, I would get the slime out from my gums. <laughs> Respectable. But I'm going to soldier on. It's good. After. How, af how what? What? How bad is it? No, it, it, doesn't, fucking, it, doesn't, no, it doesn't matter. Here, it doesn't hurt. When, when he fucking revives, okay. it'll be okay. fine. When he yeah. revives, it'll be fine. Here, here, is it, you want to see the shard? Yeah, it's like, the, it's like the JFK skull fragment. There. Yeah. Wait, don't lose it. Okay, yeah, this is a souvenir now. No, no wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm putting that with my kids. Wait, can you, can you go over and start <laughs> yeah, to the yeah, webcam? Yeah. Can, you, can you start to the webcam? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. It won't show up on the webcam. It might, might be. Holy oh, shit. shit. How did you, wait, did you rip it on the paper? Oh, Does it look bad? Where? You can see it. Oh my god. How long yeah. you see it? What? Yeah. What? what? Yes. Ben, I'm sorry, but it's pretty noticeable. Right? Really? Yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, well, now it's yes. iconic. Now we have to put it on all, right. all Ben's. Step over this. Make sure you step over it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and all right. Keep, anyway. To keep up. <laughs> shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the hell up! 
to keep up with all the crazy shit happening in the game, to keep up with all the new gameplay mechanics that keep being fucking released, and keep up with all the new people joining the server and all the people, you know, getting their clout beefed up to deal with all the influx of fucking community legends like the Ground Floor Boys that I just mentioned, a hero by the name of Vester, who you know before, uh, created the Slime Times. What is the Slime Times, Ben? Um, it was a newspaper. It was a monthly, weekly, something. It varied however, a lot. however, however, they pay, yeah, it was a newspaper that would cover all of the relevant goings on in New Los Angeles City, aka Neil Milwaukee, which is the city in which the game inhabits. We mentioned it, but it bears repeating. Yes, yeah, that's where we are right now. We're broadcasting live. What? Pre-recorded from New Los Angeles. What City. district do you think this is in? Oh wait, that's season two. Oh shit, Shrap, 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 The face of season two. So anyway, so you need to fucking understand that this shit's so fucking confusing to even the people playing the goddamn game that they had to make a fucking newspaper, an actual legitimately like useful. You use it for what you use a newspaper for to get fucking news about this. Which doesn't even fucking exist. Why are you all so fucking stupid? <laughs> Why did you do this? Um, the Slime Times was great and it's still archived. Like, yeah. you can still read it somewhere, right? So, yeah. So Link in the fucking description. It, I guess. It's, it's on ew.krakisi.net. So, yeah, you can go okay. there. Uh, I think it's in the news tab. And you can just scroll back and you can read what it was like to be there at the beginning of, of, of Inventory. Can you read what it was like to be there on the ground floor? Uh, lowercase g, lowercase f, not the ground floor, boys. Don't be fucking kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah, go on. Um, and so we need to talk about something. So the, those aforementioned community members, the slum time that the sometimes was created to help bolster and to help uh, explain to the people the new fags coming in, you know, the PCP heads and the nate heads, explain who were coming in, who these community members were. Let's talk about consorts and top killers. Yes, that's their name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, top killers are just bargain bin consorts anyway. So I will just, start out. I just, just, just me trying not to look bad in front of the Joneses. So what, while Ben is, getting... I don't really believe in consorts. I don't really acknowledge them as valid anyway. Yeah, so you, but you, you believe in you believe in getting a good fucking you, you, you night. Cover them. <laughs> I'm gonna slosh, bro. No, um, not now. By the way, while Ben and Crack are working themselves into a fucking frenzy, staying up late at night and just fucking trying to avoid everyone else in their entire fucking life and spend their entire life in the fucking pie charm uploading to GitHub, I'm over here like, hmm. I guess I'll check the server, you know, once every, like, week, I guess. Uh, this guy named Dupu Schmoople, I guess he's got, like, a lot of slime or something. Consorted! Can man consorted! Paradox Shocks consorted! What does that mean? Uh, I just made it up, I guess. I made art for three of the most important rowdies in my eyes. It was Dupu Schmoople. Say something. Hey! It was Paradox Shock. Say something. <laughs> it was Can Man. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Paradox Shock and Can Man are really similar, so that that was fit in here. And I gave them quirky little titles, like for instance, Dupu Schmoople. Who are you? What are you? What's your title? I'm, I'm the. I'm the. I'm the vehement viceroy. Don't speak into that. Speak into this oh. and scream. I'm the vehement viceroy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the vehement viceroy. <laughs> 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 Paradox Shocks is the unction extraordinary of I uh, urban development, and Kamen is the Zara Commerce, which is like the best concert role that's ever been given. I think he he won it. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I post these, oh, uh, and nobody and nobody cared. Nobody gave a shit about rowdy shit. And it then, was dumb. And then, it was bunk. It was and then, bunk. And then the chat was rioted, all, and then it was, was like, bunk. okay, I'm losing out on so much of the market share right now. No one fucking likes me anymore, even though I made the game and I do everything <laughs> for them. That Munchie posted like three images, and now everyone loves him. Too. I, had to <laughs> yeah. fucking, I had to fucking swoop in here with an update to the killers. And so you made the top killers, which that fucking name, dude. You, that's terrible. That's, that's awesome. really what bad. The, it's the cop killers. And they're the top cop killers. The top killers is perfect. It's thank you, thank you. Please clap. <laughs> Who are the top killers? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, at the time there was um, there was uh, Thalamus Dredge, the Senator, uh, Sweet Mouse. Uh, uh, TFAP, uh, Hale, a frame. What? Was what? what? No. Okay. Did I get it wrong? The the OG top. Was that killers. later? The OG top killers 
We're a frame? Yeah. B oh, if Evange? No. No? Okay. <laughs> fine, you, fine, you fucking say it. Frame's new top killer. If frame's new top killer. <laughs> alright, alright. Top killers at the time. A frame, the big gay, Thalamus Dredge, Crack, Ben Sane, <laughs> Bevan, and Sweet Mouse. Oh, and Slimes. Lane Slimes. Lane yeah, Slimes. Yeah, Remember Slimes. Lane Slimes? Yeah. Bro! Yeah. yeah. He designed the cop killer logo. That's crazy. Love that guy. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I hate. I, fuck, now, I fucking so, hate that guy, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, and they're all fucking great people. Fucking stay. And, and again, I need to emphasize this: that these people were not destined for greatness. These people did not just fucking pop in and say, "I'm a consort now," because the consort ship didn't exist. The cop killer ship didn't exist. All that matters: they were active. They were funny. They were cool. They weren't retarded. They weren't cringy. They weren't embarrassing, and they weren't fucking you right now, <laughs> not being not in the understanding server. how. To, how to text text commands. Yeah, so all you need to do is no be in the look. server and be a good person and you will fucking get consorted. You will get top killers. You'll get all the praise in the fucking world if you aren't a stupid fucking hack fraud idiot, which I know is a tall hurdle for you PCP nade heads, but <laughs> just fucking try. I'm begging you. I'm fucking begging you. And so let's talk about what happened to one of the consorts, shall we? Because this is a defining moment in RCK history. Because before this, the game was just a lot of fucking people killing one another, you know, just fucking shooting. No one really had a lot of big events happen around them. There was no real defining moments. There was Bevan getting the Mega Slime, but the actual, you know, killing of the server was just kind of, you know, everyone against everyone. It was kind of a free-for-all. Here's one of the first lore moments that happened. That is defining archetypical, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it, like a, like a canonical story that you would tell to your children. It's like Ron Howard's Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000... Zero. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of the assassination of Can Man. Now, Can Man, as you know, is a grand floor boy. And when you withdraw your slime from the slime market, from the stock market, then, for a while, you are vulnerable to attacks. You know, you are able to be shot and obliterated and die. Mm -hmm. And so, because he's one of the ground floor boys, he has untold amounts of fucking wealth. Everyone fucking hates that guy. Everyone, I mean the killers, and the killers are fucking nobodies. Mm -hmm. um, but they want him dead, regardless. Mm -hmm. And so they equip the garrote, which is an item added to the game in the dojo update, which allows you to fucking... It had a... It, the garrote was a... Um... Like, all weapons did, like, they did various amounts of damage versus, I don't know, they had stats, whatever, don't worry yeah. about it. But the thing about the Garot was it had a very small chance to do an insta-kill, yes. which no other weapon could do. Yeah. So the idea was, well, he has so much slime we can't touch him, yeah. but if we all gang up on him with and just Garot him over and over again, eventually one of us is going to get that insta-kill, and he's yeah. going to go down no matter how big he is. Cough. I, I just want to say, at the time, the, the killers weren't nobodies. Yeah. Out of all the ground floor boys, Kamen was the only rowdy. Mm -hmm. and, like, it, it, yeah. Was, and Vester was, was a juvie. Was a, Kamen was a rowdy, and Vester was a juvie. All the others were killers. Mm -hmm. So, like... Cannon was like the hero of the rowdies, basically. Yeah. I, I, I remember, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, just, 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 just a quick aside in this story that shows that even the little guys get attention here. It, there was a, once a guy in RCK named Owlboy, and I remember very distinctly one of these days, I, I remember very distinctly in, in season one days, it was late at night, and I had I had some slime, and I and I loaned Owlboy some slime, and I said, go, please, there are no fucking rowdies in line, there are no rowdies even playing this goddamn game, I, please, Owlboy, you're one of the few rowdies I fucking have, please, just get any kills whatsoever, and uh, he ate shit, and he fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what we're dealing with now, but Kamen is one of the only top rowdies, like you say, that are even playing the fucking game and so the killers try and gang up on him and so long they, story short they, they do they it got they, 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 they did got it. him they fucking got him and so this Deb, fucking Deb, title Deb. No, no thrash man no, no, Deb, no. Th th thrash man come on fucking busted and so this yeah, titan Rowdy's this is busted this titan of you that's our busted. word man. that's that's our fucking word busted. man that's our fucking word dude that's our fucking word dude Shut up. Don't touch me. <laughs> um, this titan of industry, this robber baron, fucking plummets to the grave, brah. He fucking winds up with Levy Jevy over here with the fucking snake dance, bro. <laughs> Gross, disgusting. He winds up with the fucking sewers. And everyone goes fucking crazy because there's so much fucking slime, you know, just fucking laying about everywhere because he exploded, <laughs> dog. Um, and it's fucking terrifying and sad. And so, Investor, seeing his fellow ground floor boy 
get fucking annihilated and get fucking garroted and assassinated. And Vester is distraught, to say the very least. And he, in this warped mind state, in this fucking overcome with grief and depression, because one of uh, so, a stranger he doesn't even actually know, his video game numbers went down way too fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> What? That's uh, this one's no. That one's it's important. important. It's yeah, important. that one's important. No, that one's no. we can protect this one. <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm fond of this one. <laughs> um, and, and investor goes to the slime casino in Los Angeles City, aka New Milwaukee, and he gambles away all of his slime. And keep in mind, Vester is the on one, richest. One roll of the dice. One roll of the one dice. One roll on the craps table. And keep in mind, Vester is the most fucking richest person in the entire fucking city. <laughs> this single event transforms the landscape of who's who in New Los Angeles City, okay, in Milwaukee. These two events, Cameron's assassination and the fucking gamble and death of Investor and the, and the exodus of invest, Investor, changes who's who. Ethan, scream if you scream if you're over there. Even though Investor was only a Jewby, like nobody wanted to fuck with him because they were afraid that like agitating him would cause like unknown amounts of slime to just fucking like like wail against him. <laughs> like <laughs> like, like, it, like, like yeah. pe people were terrified that because Investor had way more slime than the rest of the ground floor boys. People were terrified that he would like in like he would enlist in like one gang or the other. Yeah. yeah. And fucking kill everybody. Yeah. But the thing is, like Investor, like in his heart. Even though he was a juvie, and like there were these killers, there were rowdies. Investor was like, in, at his heart, he was a he was a kind soul. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and 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 when all of his ground floor boy friends got picked off one one after the other, and Cam Man was the last to go in the grocery, store, he was just so fucking depressed yeah. that he, that he was like. What like what do I even have this slime? For? Yeah. What's even the point? I'm gonna go gamble it away. Yeah. And he fucking lost it. He could have had it all more so than he already even did. I guess that's like you know Jeff Bezos being like I'll fucking flip a coin and I'll either become double rich person in the <laughs> world or I'll die. <laughs> if frame. Just to clarify, at the time the stocks and the casino mechanics were interlinked. So this dice roll had fucking stakes. Because yeah. if he would have won, he would have taken all of the casino slime and completely annihilated the stock market yeah. forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Which unfortunately, be unfortunately yeah. that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so this crazy, just air-defying moment of, you know, there was the rise and fall of the stock market, boys. You know, the stock market, it you know, it keeps being in the background. And, you know, eventually we surpass what happened with the Gun 4, boys. We surpass those levels of slime. But that first glimpse of the power of the stock market, and that first glimpse, glimpse of the stock market and the ground floor boys came to an end with Cayman's assassination and the exodus of Investor. Equally as important, forgot to say, Dr. Plague releases this con uh, contest entry uh, where he basically just tries to rip off Levy Jevy. Who's, who's Dr. Plague? Don't worry about it. He's important later. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's move on. Yep, that's all you have to say about that. Um, and there's something I think that You've been saying you need to talk to someone in the room about because the next big defined lore epic moment here happens between you and Dupity Schmoople. Oh, the um the Pokemon battle? The Pokemon battle. Oh wait, no, wasn't that after the the thing, bad thing? The, the bad thing that no, happened? No, no, before the bad Was thing. Was that before the, ba oh, before the bad? Uh, okay. It was before the bad thing that oh, happened. Oh right. Damn it! I totally forgot about this. Okay, there was a. Tell me if I get anything wrong. There was a duel between Dupity and a frame. a frame, and I had not been told about it, but I heard that this battle was taking place, and that meant that Dupity, who at the time was one of the biggest rowdy, or a, a bigger rowdy, yeah. he was, you know, he was flagged for PvP. I mean, he's a consort, he's gotta be a big guy, yeah. he's important. He was, he was out and about, he was available to take down, and I said, well, shit. A rowdy's out. <laughs> a, a, well, rowdy, shit. a rowdy's out. He's he's vulnerable. And I remember it was Retro PK, who was a, a pretty big killer at the time. I said, "Hey, Retro PK, kill him." And he's and they, everyone was like, "Wait, but but they're having a duel." And I said, "Nobody cleared it with me." <laughs> and his ass. <laughs> and he did. Uh, and it was great. And Dupity was so mad that he challenged me to a Pokemon battle for his honor, which I crushed him at. And and what did I get in, in return? Uh, it, a little uh, thing called his fucking soul. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. His delicious soul. 
Yes, and so he was an honorary killer for that. He was added to the top killer's art as with, a, 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 with a little collar that a, I was a, walking him around a, a, on. A, a, yeah, a, a, as a slosh slave with the which, if you don't know what sloshing is, you don't want to fucking know. <laughs> Let me, Jeffy. This shit was like the most depressing, and like, <laughs> like sad saga. Like it makes me cry to think yeah. about now. Like. <laughs> Fuck, Doopity! Doopity Schmoople! What? Doopity Schmoople's hubris is a character onto itself and it will rear its ugly fucking head over and over and over again throughout in this war history. Ethan, and scream. Furiously fucking scream. Ben, like, Ben fucking, like, got at Doopity so hard that, like, he asked Crack to, like, hard code it in the game so that Doopity could not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it was Crack's idea to do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think it was yeah. my idea to do it, but but I said yes, absolutely. Go, crack absolutely make that rule. Crack had, like, a previously a rule to not hard code players into the game itself, but for this you made an exception <laughs> because fuck you, you lost your soul. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, one third of the fucking original consorts, you know, Doopity Schmoople, the fucking my Jafar, is just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> gone, and he's a top killer, and it's a nightmare, uh, and it fucking sucks, and I don't even know, I don't even know, I, what, well, you, you, <sighs> um, betting wait, on, wait, wait, betting wait, wait, on souls wait, set a precedent that would become relevant later, uh, it would become very problematic, very and, problematic, and, 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 and <laughs> it would become a plague upon our society, uh, what you need to understand is that season one set so many fucking precedents for things, so many things that would just continuously snowball out of control until it just involved the server-wide fucking anarchy and server-wide warfare, and this soul shit is just one of the things that will rear its <laughs> ugly head so fucking often. Let me jump. Let's press F for soul is doopity <sighs> Press F, killer doopity, soul is doopity. F, 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 F. Hey, it frame. Hey, we're gonna piss real quick. Hey, intermission about some like ARG or so. I don't even. I don't even know what. I don't. What are you talking? Fuck. Give me endless war thoughts. A frame. A frame. Can we talk about how fucking complicated the fucking Can Man assassination was? It's kind of like long story short is what he said. Okay. But like it was planned for fucking days, like pages upon pages. Yeah. Hey, shut the fuck up. This isn't fucking Nobody cares. All right, so during this time, nobody gave a shit about the stock markets, except like Paradox, eh. So, per personal story, personal story. I, I was checking on the stock markets like I do with my boy Thalamus Dredge. We were like investing, withdrawing, we were getting, we were getting into it. And we see this message come up from Endless War that said stocks are plummeting down like 20% and it freaks us the fuck out. We're like, oh shit, that's our slime coin, it's gone. It wasn't. An account was made uh, to look like Endless War. It was Enlisted Juvie, same colors as Endless War, same icon, same everything. And it was bamboozling people left and right in the stock markets, murdering Slime Coin. It was horrifying. We, we nicknamed it Inlet War. Now, Inlet War was important because one day, you know, among its hijinks, it posted just like a YouTube video with a clock. And everybody's like, the fuck is this bullshit? Nobody cares about clocks. It w it was important. It was fucking important because that clock was the kickoff to a massive R a, a massive ARG that spanned like six months. It went for fucking ever. So the ARG. <laughs> sorry, I didn't think where it started. After the clock, uh, we traveled to Nate's stream. Um, in which Nate was being gay, you know, all these Nate heads asking to get girlfriends or something. Uh, um, we made it, we had to make a side server to, like, actually do an ARG. They, Inlet War would post these puzzles, like, some, like, a bunch of circles with other circles in them and code at the bottom. Literal just puzzles and layers upon layers of puzzles left and right. Ben was there. You did some puzzles? I did a little puzzling. Yeah, you did a little puzzling. puzzling Munchie, you did, a, you did some puzzles? No, I was fucking tapped out. I was on fucking grind the whole time. So, so, um, after a long time of doing these puzzles, a mysterious figure joins the side server. Um, Slime, Slime, uh, uh, Investigator? <laughs> slime Investigator. <laughs> <laughs> he, he'll be important later. <laughs> so, um, it gets to the point where uh, it, the, the puzzle portion of the ARG itself is kind of winding down. Um, at this point, something happens in the main server. Uh, it, it was kind of bad, I guess. You know, a little bad. Um, so, you know, stocks weren't really happening anymore. 
uh, in the ARG had to kind of confine itself to the side server to start like doing lore dumps. Um, the the main premise of the backstory of the ARG was there was this killer going around uh, Neo Los Angeles. Like, like a literal killer. Yeah, like not a literal, like, a like, like not, not like, not, cool, like, not the cool, cool guys, guy. but like a guy who like yeah. Zuckerberg's people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh. which, which can be cool too sometimes. Eh. <laughs> so, nah. so we, it was kind of, it turned into this quest to find this mysterious man who was killing people who actually threatened to blow up the mines. Mm. You guys know about the mines? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Nah, sorry, I was tapped out on grinding. <laughs> fucking bitch. So, we get to the end. Um, slime investigator. He gets these mines. He's about to stop the killer, but in the process of saving the mines, saving New Los Angeles, saving the economy, he loses his life. He gets shot in the fucking face. Yeah, F. F. F for slime yeah. investigator. F in for slime yeah. investigator. Um. A plaque was erected in his honor at the mines. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any pictures of the plaque anywhere? Actually, there is. Actually, it made a cameo in Slime and Punishment a billion fucking years later. But I'll get to that when I get to it. <laughs> we'll get to it's that coming. later. It's coming. It's coming back, baby. It all comes back. So, the very end. The very end of this ARG. Uh, it was the journey to find out who done it. Who set up this ARG? You know, who would take their time staying up countless hours? Keeping us uh, ARG boys updated, telling us if, if we were right or wrong, or wrong, because we were <laughs> wrong a lot on these puzzles. Um, so it was Minecraft. Could we fucking Minecraft? Like, sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sick, dude. Yeah. Minecraft! 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 Minecraft. So, Terraria? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Minecraft, we, we had to set up a Minecraft team, and our goal was to travel like 10,000 blocks or some arbitrary amount to a goal. The Minecraft team was me, Ben Saint, Nabo, Marsalwin, and Thalamus Dredge. Um, you know, some heavy hitters. Uh, so, we make this Minecraft journey, we arrive at Endless War, it took us like all night, uh, it was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. ended at like 5 a.m. We get to Endless War. We do some in the game puzzles. There, were some, that was the there thing. were some devious traps. There were some devious traps. I think there was like an Undertale twisters. reference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the end. We're, we're, we're really hyped. He's beaming us up. We're walking through these tight corridors. You know, it says, This is your final chance. If, if you don't want to know who it is, turn back. Turn off the computer. End the stream. But we, we needed to know. We open this door, and in front of the Minecraft team, a massive wall with a giant red skull of Can Man, the Czar of Commer Commerce. The boy. The boy. The boy. Yeah. The boy. Yeah. One, one final story about the ARG. One final story, the most legendary thing. Back when Inlet War was doing these hijinks in the stock market, you know, saying, oh, you stock plummeting. Can Man saw one of these stock plummeting messages and withdrew, leading to the assassination of Can Man. Can Man no. killed himself for the ARG. Whoa. Yes, Whoa. I knew yes. it. I told Deep you. Lore. I remember this. Wait, it was that's all why, that's why. That's why Can Man went vulnerable that day that we murked him to sell that he, he was not Inlet War. <laughs> layers, oh layers. My what you the fuck? Old old facts go fucking hard. Oh, I know, yeah. dude. Four dimensions. All right, chest. this is gay. I'm out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Who the fuck are you? Rowdies. Rowdies is busters. Yeah. That's hey, Aaron Rush, we have to call the Airbnb later. Keep everything recording. We have to call it right now, though. We oh. have to. Right. You have to tell wait, wait why? Vape, 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 dab, 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 vape, I feel no need to thrash because that was just so pathetic. I don't even need to counter with fucking anything. And for the elbow, bro, for the fucking elbow! Ooh, hey, we need to talk about something fucking big. Because while all this dumbass fucking side shit's going on, there's been something percolating beneath the city depths for a while now. Right. And we should check on in. 
with the state so, ads. So the Let's state, they've been doing. the state ads are still there. They're still even though the game works now, works perfectly, works beautifully, flawlessly, <laughs> and, immaculate. And, 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 the economy is running smoothly. Like and the Paradox Rock has like you know quadrillion billion slime. He has like, like literally owned like, the like, entire like, economy. Like overflow amount of slime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the you know you know well, the, the ground floor boys were all defeated, but you know there's the economy like bounced right fucking back. It didn't even fucking matter. All that pathos experience literally did not matter because Paradox Rocks Ign fucking exist. Ignore everything we just said. Yeah, it but doesn't the, even matter. But, but the state ads, they're down they're down in the sewers. They're still there for some reason. They still have not gotten their shit I don't, together. I don't want the deals in order with to get like, back into so it. abundant. Yeah. Get back up here and get mining and get, jubies. And get, and get fucking dying real fucking quick. To the, to the slime economy for fuck's sake. But they won't do it because they hate capitalism. And they're so fucking mad. They decide, hey, why don't we haunt why don't we haunt these guys? So they start haunting the juvies to create negative An slime or anti-slime. Anti-slime. Anti -slime. Yeah. They, they, they haunt Ant people. Right, anti-slime. They get anti-slime. Yes. And then the idea of the opposite of a mega slime enters their fucking sick, twisted minds. Their sick little skeleton minds. And they think to themselves, What if we got a million anti-slime? What would, would that form be? The and mega slime. slime. Woo, and it would unleash yeah. untold evil into the world. Yes, Levy Jevy. I remember the origin of mega slime. But, uh, well, it's it, pretty obvious we just explained <laughs> it. So I, don't know, like, I don't know if it was me or Lord of Ghosts who thought of the idea of like, oh, do you want people to get anti slime? Buh, buh. But like, I, I, add, I added crack. And I was like, hey, could you add, like, could you like do that? Like, bro. And like, not even like an hour later, it's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, it. That's how, that's how season one was. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, just the game would just change. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> and like, without notice. Yeah. Rule broke and you talked about something you did. Fuck uh, <laughs> hey! It was important. It was actually fun. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's good. Also, uh, dab, dab, dab. Fuck yeah. this guy. Okay. And, and, and so the idea of the next slime is positive. And so Levy Jevy and the Lord of Ghosts, the two most prevalent uh, state ads, of course, you know, uh, besides Dr. Plague, who is uh, everyone's favorite state ad. Who, yeah. uh, who famously yeah. made a Dr. shitty contest yeah. entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so his only claim to fame at the moment is making a shitty contest entry, which is his only claim to fame for the rest of time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, and a bunch of other, you know, miscellaneous ghosts and ghouls and goblins and just scary yeah. fucking things that happen. I think Cough was there at one point. Yeah. Whoa. Sad. Literally <laughs> fucking sad. I um, all of them are, <laughs> all, all of them are conspiring to reach one mega slime, one million anti-slime. And so the Long story short, they did it. They did it. <laughs> and coinciding with them achieving that goal... There was a big event going on yes. up in the streets of New Los Angeles City. It was City. the mayor. It was time for the mayoral elections to happen, yeah. and we both wanted it. We both wanted to be the most powerful man in the city mm -hmm. in name only, no actual authority. But like, it would be all, really fucking all, cool, dude. I'd be like, Mary, I can wear a, sla a, a, a sash. A sash and a top I can be wear a fucking crown. I can have a scepter. I can fucking bunk people on their fucking it goddamn been, stupid ass heads, so, and it would be delicious. It would have been so. Sick, and obviously one of us was gonna be it. I mean, who else could it possibly fucking well, be? We have no idea. There was, there was some coward state ed from the sewers decided Nate! to close. Uh, the <laughs> the Lord of Ghosts. He uh, called himself for some fucking reason. Nobody knows why. He's just some fucker with a sheet over. We him. don't even know who he is. He doesn't even know who he is. He was just some go. He came in. You know, none of us took him seriously, right? He was He's always cringe. But he was always stop. cringe posting. Yeah. Everyone thought like this is a joke. This is a joke. Unfortunately, he absolutely cornered. The most, what turned out to be the most important demographic of all, which was the pity vote, yeah. which turned the entire election Ooh. and swept him into the fucking White House. But, but Lord of Ghosts ran a policy of boo, and then I would go ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! He was, he was. Ah! Lord of Ghosts was also Just a degenerate. Was also a degenerate who openly liked pornography, which completely <laughs> turned yeah, the yeah. tide against him. For some reason, our anti-porn stance. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't it. understand. Whatever Why? Happened to, whatever happened to ethics? In uh, I have no fucking clue. And so, while the state ads are conspiring to get a nega slime, the Lord of Ghosts is elected mayor. And when he's elected mayor, okay, he... the sewer, all every great, every sewer grate in the city just. <laughs> and it was, yeah. Remember that it was like it was ghost. It was just that scene from Ghostbusters where all yeah. the ghosts come literally it just yeah, is that, that that just happened in fact I think if someone made a video that just was literally that yeah. scene with our skin music over I think that was exactly the same there was no difference so, so keep in mind for all you viewers
viewers at home, what has happened is me and Ben have just thought, dude, what if mares, and then everything's ruined <laughs> forever? Uh, dude, what if we have a fake election and nothing bad happens? Well, <laughs> spoiling something bad really happens. <laughs> this is the worst thing yet. Okay, so, but, the, but like, ghosts, like, this is actually really bad, because ghosts, you, they used to have to stay in the sewers, and they could haunt from the sewers, but now, like, they're out and they're walking around in the world, fucking everything up. Imagine you're walking to your fucking favorite bagel stand, and you see a skeleton, and you go, Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Stupidy. Clarify for the PCP heads. Oh, oh, bleep it! Bleep it! Bleep it! Bleep it! I will. I literally thanks. Believe that. How? How could you Shut say up, something Tommy. like oh, that? Shut up! How could you think that was okay to say? <laughs> An investor. <laughs> nobody. 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 X. And, and so it's fucking life is. Nobody fucking... is anybody. Connor is a pink whale. And, and, so, and so this is... Uh, he's not Jay and, and, and so this is fucking terrible. And you know, who cultural milestone achieved. Sweet Mouse releases This Is Milwaukee, a parody of This Is Halloween from the night before Christmas. Yeah. And I remember that. A week after, the Lord Mayor of Ghosts oh, is elected right. Lord His Mayor. His first official act as the mayor is to take the massively... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I even jumping ahead? Yeah, you're, you're jumping ahead a little bit. Right. Because... Because me and Ben think, okay, listen, skeletons, God, but <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> what a what a fucking eyesore. But, but Our property values are plummeting. But is that gonna stop us from gaming? Hell no. <laughs> so we have to get together. Think, okay, it's been too long. Me and you both have like one sextillion billion slime. But even though you have one million six billion slime, I have quadruple sextillion to dillion trillion billion slime. And I come over. And I fucking crushed you. And you had another Pokemon battle. But it wasn't even fair because I had like literally like thousands upon thousands of exponential more was that, slime was than that you had. Slime Fest 2. Slime Fest 2. Slime Fest 2. It was literally unfair. And another more... moral victory for the killers. Sad. At cough? <laughs> In Slide Fest 2, Ben had like eight sl eight mucks. Munchie had like like eight thousand. Yeah. <laughs> like, like literally. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not even joking. Eight thousand mucks. It was, it was a close and, race, but I clutched and, and, for the rounds. It was all because of Paradox Cross. Yeah. 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 Was yeah. Crushing the, like. The planet yeah. and the yeah. ways. The economy uh, was ruined. And, and so the, the Lord in, Mayor in the Rowdy's favor this time. The Lord Mayor of Ghosts in his state house commenting over the match between me and Ben, you know, that he wants to see what the kingpins oh, are right. up to. Right, it was at the end of Slime Fest 2. When yes. something really fucking bad happened. Me and Ben went to go shake hands and we agreed, listen, we may hate each other, but at least we can admit that we love gang violence and we just want everyone to be in suffering forever yeah. and we, we love All we want is for the violence to continue, to continue forever and in perpetuity. perpetuity. And as long as that happens, everything's gonna be a-okay. It didn't last that way for long. <laughs> <laughs> because the Lord of Ghosts seeing this and thinking, I fucking hate slime, I hate Ben Saint, Munchie's great, but Ben Sanders <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do something really bad. And then he ascends and the nega slime descends. So the Lord Mayor of Ghosts using two endless rocks, two rocks of unspecified origin and unspecified power that which basically don't make any sense and are nothing. He uses them to make the ultimate evil, the Nega Slime, descend. Using all the anti-slime that they accrued, he summons an eldritch god building called the Nega Slime. I know it's confusing because it's like, you know, you call a million anti-slime a Nega Slime, but that's like like lowercase n. We're going fucking hard uppercase n for the Nega Slime, which is an eldritch being that comes down from the ground and sucks up every speck of slime. I mean, the ghosts were walking around and I thought, damn! But, but now when, we're all ghosts. And I'm like, damn! So everybody's fucking dead. The city is gray. If there's no slime, it's a big bummer, in a word. And I'm like, it's damn! A, it's, a downer. it's a big downer ending. 
Come. And it sucks even for the ghosts because they, 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 there's no living people to haunt. They yeah. can't get more negative. Yes. <laughs> Literally, no one no is happy. happy. No, <laughs> even Nobody the people, the people that wanted it immediately rejected it. <laughs> and it also destroyed stated culture because it was about being a freak and like counterculture. It was about being if a, a sour a contrarian. Freak, if everyone's a freak, is everyone's counterculture? If everyone's, no one's a freak. No one's counterculture. So, so, so the next time descends and he fucking, or, or it, kills everyone. Everyone in the entire server, everyone's a ghost, and everything's just fucking gray and boring, and you just float from place to place, and you think, gay. Okay. Fake and gay. <laughs> okay. So, so we do this, right? And, and this starts, like, this starts a new era of the game. This is the end of season one. This is, a after the next slime descends, it all stops, it goes to the Nega Pause, so the, the intermission. Ne so, how long did we say the Nega Pause was gonna last? Oh, well you see, don't worry guys, this is just a quick little lore thing. For you see, the game will return at the end of the month. End of the month. <laughs> yeah, end of the month. Uh, Smash cut to three months later. Was it only three months? It felt like an eternity. It was a three months later, okay. but that's when the game comes out. But that doesn't fucking matter, because during the well, Nega Slime pause, yeah. I, like, the only way I can describe it is that people just go fucking insane. There's, like, there's, okay, there's, no, there's no game to distract yeah. their brains, so their neurons are just like yeah, getting yeah, yeah. confused and coming but, up but, with okay, like crazy but, ideas. Because so the whole server, just, it just becomes like RP... Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. People are just like going on like RP adventures with each other yeah. and like make and come being like coming up with like, stories what, 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 about what, what, their OCs. What, 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 what if we were pirates? Game. What if we were pirates and then we sail the slime seas? Oh, but the Lord of Ghosts is here now. Oh no, we're getting cannonball fire. Oh jeez. Oh, what a great time that was. Oh, sure, it was a great fucking time. Meanwhile, they're just like hurling themselves like, oh, I'm a pirate, I'm a pirate, I'm a pirate, I'm a pirate. In the corner of some fucking abandoned speakeasy, trying to pretend like they are a ghost in this great dead fucking world. World. There's the there's in the detention center just fucking cradling themselves and it's a fucking nightmare. So because everyone on season one was so fucking hopped up and so like energized and they were so spoiled by constant updates just so every single fucking day for just you know you recommend something that's in the game like thirty minutes later you know they were so used to that that like their brains had evolved like faster than normal humans were supposed to and they just went fucking crazy and mind break doge and they just started making art left and fucking right mm -hmm. the arts are flourishing while everyone's fucking role playing and basically. Everything's fucking terrible. <laughs> um, it's a fucking nightmare. I want to say that during this, Pokemon becomes yeah. a weirdly like important Every, part of the Everyone, start, everyone starts playing Pokemon because what else are they gonna fucking like, do? Like everyone starts playing Pokemon. Aww. There's tournaments of Pokemon. First one, the Muck Cup, because everyone sees our slime fest, which have so far been you know me and Ben fighting in Pokemon. We use Mega Slimes, you know, we use Mucks. The, the Muck Cup was a Pokemon tournament where we oh you had, only we use Mucks. Muck only use meta. Mucks. It was it was surprisingly deep meta. It was mm. really cool. It was cool. And then there was uh, okay, okay. An, the Soul wait, wait. Cup. Yeah. The, 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 okay. The, okay. So to explain the Soul Cup, so okay, the thing. Remember when? Remember Dupity Schmooble losing when, when I battled Dupity yeah. Schmooble and he wagered his soul and lost it. Yeah. Well, okay. He, this, he has his soul, but not you know. So insane, so yeah. there was. I might be getting the order confused, but then Gabe the Starman, he started making a comic about who, 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 hunting who? down internal organs of people that had been killed. Who, who, which and it was all about like people like trading their organs, them, finding yeah. organs, right? Mm -hmm. That was called Crackdown. Yes. And um, uh, so this I and this this witchy looking fucker yeah. shows up and he starts he starts like making deals with people and it's all like part of this big like RP thing yeah. and every, and the, the, this is this is just how devolved and degenerate the yeah. culture had become <laughs> in the absence of gameplay everyone starts like signing like deals and like trading away like parts of themselves so so, so 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 some consorts including like including their souls sometimes Nightball is like yes take part of my fucking left cheek real quick you know just fucking take it and I'll, I'll trade you some deal for some like pocket lint you got I don't fucking care it doesn't even matter people are just like some of like Juan the Alligator's teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, we cough. Because, because they, they, they would trade away a body part, and in exchange, Witchy would draw them like a profile picture with that body part missing. Mm -hmm. So, so like, <laughs> like, 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 Witchy would be like, "Oh, I'll draw, I'll draw you a a profile picture," and they'll be like, "Okay, okay, okay." And be like, but you gotta give me like a body part. And they'll be yeah. like, "Oh, sure, take my take my left cheek." <laughs> and then, <laughs> and Witchy would be like. Okay, and we take the left cheek, and then we draw Nibbo without the left cheek, and then and then Nibbo would set it as his profile picture. But it be but it would be grayscale because because you know it was the negapause. Yeah, yeah. A 
all her. Yeah. All her everyone was yeah. everyone was grayscale. But like like a billion people did that. Yeah, like, yeah. it was everyone in the entire yeah. fucking that, server. That was culture. That's so the, so this, this culture was this mysterious while. peddler witchy comes to the server and you know he's making all these deals. And how does he come into ownership of Doopy's soul? How did you give it to him? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> I know I, it had something to do I'm with pr- the soul. Cup. I'm pretty sure you just fucking gave it to Witchy because that Witchy was the one hosting. I think the soul he cup. traded. Yeah, I, he, I, I, he, I, I was I, bored I, with I, it, so I just traded yeah, him for a bunch of other yeah, crap, yeah, like I, teeth I, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I remember you saying that. Like he just said, like, "Hey, can I have Doopity's soul?" <laughs> and you were like. Uh, I've, I've had it for like ever. Like I don't know. Aka, 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 like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 here you go. Like, uh, like, uh, wait, just, just have it. Just, just yeah. take it. Like, I'll, I'll take like some fucking teeth and some. Like, yeah. I'll take like some teeth and some butt cheeks. Like, I don't know yeah, yeah. <laughs> like here you go. And, and, and so what she thinks? Ha ha. It's me, witchy. For, like first thought in the morning, last thought at night. Uh, and he thinks I'm gonna host a tournament, and whoever wins this Pokemon tournament will get Doopy Schmooples' soul. A bunch of people and, enter, and the uh, the loser's soul. Oh like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Lo- yeah. Like the loser would also lose. Yeah, their yeah, soul. yeah. So you get two. You wager your soul, and you yeah. lose two. You gain two if you win. That was the deal. Wait, uh, it, yeah, something like that. Yeah, stupid. Last place and second place would lose their souls to witchy. First place would get. Uh, my soul. Okay. The Doopy Schmoople okay. said that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. Bunch of people to enter. Here are the two most important things, uh, in order of least importance. Uh, I bestow upon Paradox Crocs the trans beam, in, 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 in which he can turn people transgendered. Um, I have the authority to do this. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's true. It, it's, just, it's just a fact. Um, and after Paradox Crocs defeats Hale, he turns Hale uh, you, transgendered. You, you, yeah, uh, the and first and only victim. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. We forgot something. Can, can someone just scream the hail story about how he gambled away a bunch of sli- uh, slime in the casino? Does anyone know that story? Uh, uh, cough. About, about, wait, wait, the about the integer overflow? About the integer overflow? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, you know, I... I, I <laughs> 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 cough! 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 I mean, that's the story. He energy oh, 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 overflow. Okay. All I remember was that Hale was like, hey, guys, like, I hit the energy <laughs> overflow. Like, I did it. Like, I gambled. So, I won so many times that, that, that like, like, I got so much slime that it, like, overflowed back to zero. And everybody said, no, you didn't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then ever since then... <laughs> so he did that. He said that he did it. Everybody said that he didn't do it. And then ever since then, everybody says that he did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally did it. I may not have facts, but I have faith in yeah. the intro overflow. Uh, and so that's Hale, and now she's trans. So Hale, she hers. Um, very good. Thank you, Paradox Rocks. She, she, and, she, 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 she. and someone un- from out of town, some weird Spanish-speaking robo-bot right. <laughs> comes, right. comes in. That's right. And and he saddles on up, and he wins every fucking match, and he gets to the top, and he says, listen here, Witchy, I've got one thing to say to you. He had, like, really, like, weird aspirations, and it was really creepy at the time because I didn't know who he was, and he was like, I want to be everyone's friend, and it was really embarrassing and strange. But he got Doopy Schmoople's soul, and he said, I set Doopy free. He can be his own man. And me, Robo Dobot, shall be a rowdy come season two. Okay. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about what, what, no, some, what some it's busted awesome. some, no, what, what it's some busted did like a year ago. Robo, 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 Robo. Robo. The point the point of all this is that yeah, this was all really important at the time, but then like the game the Negapause ended, the game came back, and everyone immediately forgot about yeah. it, so they don't care anymore. <laughs> Wait, um, c- cough, what? Well, like, like, uh, like two weeks before the game came back, like, the, you, like, Munchie just told everybody to start mining. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. People, it, people, it didn't just people, come people, back. People just created mining bots to mine, like, what? 24-7. Mm-hmm. Um, I created a song for that. I don't know if anyone remembers my, my song that I made for mine, which is I took the Mine, Mine, Mine song from Pocahontas and just maxed the gain in the reverb and posted it as an MP3 just directly embedded into Discord and copy paste that over and over and over again and it fucking hyped up everyone, too. It was sick. Okay, so here is how the next slime... Uh, I guess ascended mind, back to death. Everyone, I guess. Every, keep in mind, everyone's dead. Everyone's yeah. a ghost. 
and no one can mine because the mines are blocked off mm -hmm. by Nega Slime tendrils. They it snaked its fucking way in yeah. there to suck out all the slime. But but the Nega Slime assumably soaks up the last little bit of slime. He soaks up the last, and he's like, okay, I can use my tendrils else, uh, elsewhere to do nefarious purposes. I'll I'll bring them out of the the mines, and so people are able to sneak back into the mines. And when they do, and they can mine. There's no slime in there, but, but they, they can mine. They they just fucking swing their pickaxe because why fucking not? Yeah. You know, they had nothing else to do. They're so fucking bored of doing nothing and losing their goddamn mind and fucking playing Pokemon and losing body parts to Witchy and, <laughs> and, and fucking reading Crackdown and playing Septry Sewer Game. It's a fucking nightmare and everyone wants to fucking die. And all the fucking born deads, which by the way, we have slurs for every season. So if you're a season one person, you don't have a slur because you're based. If you're joined in the Negapause, you're a born dead and you're fucking also based. You only become not based, like, if you join right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you join, it's the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. fucking suck. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Um, and so a bunch of born deads are co-opting culture and everything fucking sucks. And so people start mining again just to get that semblance of like, God, I just want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. So go back. Yeah. This used to mean something. Thing. And there are tremors. There are tremors happening. And Monday, me and Ben are here to rally the troops and think, okay, today, well, let's just fucking mine until we die. If we don't get anything going on today, we're just going to fucking kill ourselves and we're going to delete the servers. We're going to start mining, mining, mining. <laughs> and one lonesome amphibian is at school and checks his Discord, sees that something's happening in his favorite Discord server, Murder Focus Calculator's Endless War, and he starts mining and mining. And mining, and while at school, I assume on like lunch break, he, Frog, is the one to do it. He finds an endless rock. This endless rock, much like the endless rocks that the Lord summon of Ghosts the used. Slime. Summon the I don't know if we slime. mentioned that, but the Lord of Ghosts used yeah, the endless they, they rocks did. to they summon did. the Negus They did. They did. Okay, 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 we did. And so, <coughs> that's fucking crazy, right? And so, Frog, this little amphibian, while everyone is screaming, Hey! Get to fucking Endless War and revive him! Keep in mind, like Kof said, everyone's spamming the fucking <laughs> mind chats with so many goddamn messages to try and get any fucking symbols. Like, yeah, but much we know something's gonna happen today. We, we've been hearing these fucking quote-unquote cool, you know, like, hype-building messages. Like, oh, there are tribbers in the mines. Keep mining, guys, please. There's like a billion mines you have to do. Oh, we've made like a bunch of fucking AFK and bots. Please, just fucking start the game again. I fucking hate this. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> so everyone's spamming it so fucking much that it's lagged at the server to hell and frog can't fucking <laughs> leave the mines. Like, so imagine, imagine, like, picture this. Imagine a frog in the mines, like, with this, like, special rock that's glowing. He's trying to get the mines, but a bunch of ghosts around him just fucking cry! Ah! Ah! <laughs> they can't fucking leave. But soon enough, he gets out, he goes to the base of Endless War, and he uses the Max Revive Endless Rock, and Endless War is rejuvenated. The Nega Slime. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Way preemptive. Because the, ne the Nega Slime is like still here. Yeah. And it like sucks. Yeah. yeah. But there's slime now. There's slime. But the now. slime starts flow very gradually starts yes. flowing again. So the slime boys are able. They're able to build up some and they have to go, they have to go downtown and they have to hurl their, their sticks and stones against the Nega Slime. They gotta Oh, but specifically, in order to fight ghosts, which you were previously not able to do, they have to eat some moldy coleslaw at KFC, and then yeah. they gain the ability to see ghosts. <laughs> and, and they they, it, was the, it was the trick all along. Yeah, yeah. You have to eat the coleslaw, and then you... Oh, that's what we didn't do. Duh, I mean, that's obviously. why the Nega Slime was able to fuck us up completely. Mm. No, we all thought the coleslaw was gross. Little did we know. Yeah, and, and so... Uh, Frog, you know, revives in this war, and then he picks up arms just like everyone else in the server, and they're all going around shooting the the, the Nega Slime. They're all eating fucking coleslaw. They're gaming super hardcore, and then Frog miraculously gets the last killing blow on the Nega Slime to totally too. accident. Yeah, like just didn't even know. Just a coincidence that the same person did yeah. both. Yeah, and, so, and, so, and so the Nega Slime is crumbling and falling to earth. Everything is going to fucking shit for the Lord Mayor goes. He's going, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh everyone's coming back. And then we track him down. He go, he tries to go from the Rory Rough House to Cop Kill Town. He tries fucking going all around the map trying to figure out, we'll mention the map in a second. He tries going around all the map and everyone fucking hates him, everyone kicks him out. And then Frog again kills the Lord of Ghosts. That's Frog right, that's fucking right. brought that's back right. everything. About that. This he is did all crazy. Three. He did all three of the things you had to do to get the game to come back. <laughs> And uh, that would set up Frog for his career of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What a, what a fucking... What a fucking... You hate to see it. The, the original Annie Fred. Um, I want to say... <laughs> I, I want to say about the Lord of Ghosts that I know he seems like a big villain and everyone hates him and with good reason. I wonder what happened to him after. But, but, but like... 
there, there's a comic somewhere on some site called Give and Take site. I don't know why it's there. I don't it, know. Is that Swahili? I, I is that Swahili? I, I, I have no fucking idea. Mm-hmm. But apparently, he's got like a backstory or something. And like, I don't give a shit about it. But like, if you're stupid, then like, read read that. Yeah. Hey. Uh, also, I just want to say like the real life time frame of all this. Season one, like everything from the creation of the bot to the Negasan descending and destroying everything was like two months. Mm. The entire Negapause was like three months. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. the amount of time without the game was more than the amount of time that we had the game. Yeah. So the game coming back was like such a fucking huge deal because everybody had just been like thinking about it for like yeah. months mm-hmm. on fucking end. And I so, kept and I kept saying it was coming soon. It was coming yeah, soon. Yeah, ben, ben, kept, ben kept lying. <laughs> ben kept saying it was coming at the end of the month. Okay. And so we need to address. What's yeah. what's happened? Because so, now everyone comes back up to the surface. Everyone's now trying to so, mind slime again. So about okay. So about since we were, were bringing the game back, yeah, yeah. we took the Let's since the economy yeah, yeah. was fucking ruined. We said no more. Yeah. Stocks are gone. We, you can't be trusted with them. Yeah, yeah. It's unacceptable. <laughs> so stocks were gone, and at the same time, the game also came back. In a hugely expanded way. It, it was like a completely different fucking it was game now. Completely it was completely fucking changed. different. James, there was now a map. There was now, before, all the combat had taken place in one combat zone channel. Now, the game was spread over like a whole map with 27 districts, and you had to move around them and confront one another in real time, in real space. Yeah, did did you both scream at the screen, but what does that mean? What does it mean (laughs) that there's multiple districts? I don't fucking understand. I have no imagination whatsoever. Stop. (laughs) Stop. Think about it like this. You're in a Discord server. One channel is the combat zone. You post in there to get slime. And you kill people in the combat zone. That's season one. In season two, there is downtown, which is just the combat zone. And then you can get slime and you can kill people in downtown. But then, if you want to move to a different district, you can type exclamation point go to that district and you go there. And then the exact same thing, let's say you're in Crack Bay, you know, you're right next to downtown, you can also mine slime and you can fucking shoot people there. It's not that fucking hard. It's just like if there's a different channel. You just go to a different channel. <laughs> That's all it is! You use a command, you move. You have travel time. You move from district to district. Mm-hmm. It's pretty epic. It's pretty fucking epic. It's pretty fucking cool. And and, and so you, you can move all around the map, and there's different sub zones, and it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Frame. Travel time. Travel time takes. It sounds like it'd take a long time <laughs> to go from place to place. I mean, I bet it takes minutes. Well, we should mention something. We should actually mention something that will come up later as well. So, Crack, the fucking god purple... Mo- uh, mo- not moose. Not a moose. The, the, the bull. The bull. The Minotaur. Uh, he's fucking completely shriveled up and died out because everyone's been fucking u- uh, using and abusing him because he's so fucking... Like, he's the only person that can actually fucking do in this war. Yeah. And so everyone's been fucking... Crack! Crack! Where's weapon marriage? Where's weapon marriage? <laughs> why, why, why can't I marry my gun? Yeah. <laughs> like, nipping at his fucking heels and Ben's like, Oh, this update! This update! This update! Fix my Crack, code! Fix stop my code. doing everything you're doing! Stop working on the map! Start implementing choking on food! Yeah. <laughs> Most important thing we can do. We need it now. So, so, so a German by the name of Ladderless joins the dev team, and this is the start of something that will happen more and more gradually. And fucking a whole huge explosion recently of new developers joined the dev team. So first one we have Ladderless, Lad- Ladderless. and Ladderless is one of the people who helped make the Nega Slime code because there was an entire raid boss. You know, everyone was shooting them, and the Nega Slime was fucking, and Nega Slime made him go. And so, Ladderless, due to a debug error, you know, he made this in just to help testing purposes, he made the travel time between these districts, like, five seconds, and everyone was just fucking zooming around the map, just fucking shooting somebody, and then zooming back around. No one could get to anyone, it was just, it was, everyone was just fucking drag racing around the fucking city doing drive-bys over and over and over again. And it was fucking terrifying and scary. <laughs> it was a fucking nightmare. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh, and there's also okay. I, there's the food court, which okay. I don't. I feel okay. no need so, to mention so, it, but I just like the food court. So there, oh, there had yeah. been, there had been. Okay, previously there had been uh, people using like uh, uh, programs that would like mine for you, and to combat this, we had implemented some kind of like measures against it. So, like if you, if you, we implemented a stamina meter that you could run out of, and if you ran out of stamina but you kept trying to mine, you would trigger a cave in and die. Um, 
So, uh, but you would have to go to the bar and buy a slime and tonic and drink mm -hmm. it. So this was expanded into a whole menu of things that would um, that would like refill your stamina. You could and, buy at various restaurants. And, and and this ties in with two things. First of all, number one, there are items in the game now. So you now have, you have, have an inventory. You have an inventory where you can get uh, items such as the slime potion, which is a little crystallized little thing that you can get while mining, and you can get food in your inventory, and you can order it for other people. This has disastrous consequences. Yeah. <laughs> this has <fun. laughs> um, And so, quickly, people are back playing the game. It's in full swing. Everyone's fucking going gung-ho. Oh my fucking god, the game's back. Let's go fucking see what's going on. Let's check out what's happened <laughs> at the dojo. Which is where you train your weapons, by the way. I don't know if that was in there before, but the dojo is a place you go to get strong and train your, train your sword and your gun. Let's see what happened at the dojo. So, people... The cough? Yeah, what? Oh, I just want to say about the food court. It was the way the map was set up was there were districts and then there were subzones, mm -hmm. and one of the subzones within one of the districts was the food court, and that was where you go to eat food and then replenish your hunger. Yeah. And the food court, like the, basically in RCK, there had been these like it, like emotes that were just like it was just like a KFC emote, a Taco Bell emote, <laughs> and a Pizza Hut. Emote. And so, and but so, for no reason so, prior <laughs> till now. And 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 and, 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 and so. Uh, and so the food court was a place. The, the food court ba basically became like the text-based uh, embodification of the combination of, Taco Bell, yeah, Pizza yeah, Hut, yeah, KFC. Yeah. So you could go to the food court and you could order Taco Bell, KFC, or Pizza Hut, and and you could just order food and and then replenish your hunger. We, can, we canonized it. I, I want to say and that it's probably epic. the the greatest amount of like dev effort and time to the most amount of like no one gives a fucking shit about anything <laughs> is like the fucking paragraphs and paragraphs written about food flavor text. <laughs> where, like, it, it, it like meticulously describes yeah. you eating a slice of pizza in fucking <laughs> magnificent prose, and, and then everyone just has HKs where they yeah. fucking spam to eat as fast as possible and then they eat as fast as possible. <laughs> and, 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 so. And, and so, like I said, you can order food for other people. And so okay. people are in the dojo. And because they're in the dojo, okay. you can spar so in the, the dojo. So the thing about yeah. the you yeah, could yeah. spar in the dojo and you would train your weapon skill, but you would also... For some reason, you would gain slime. Like, you would become more powerful. You thought it was a really good idea. <laughs> well, it, it worked before. But then somehow, after the rebalance and after the game was remade, people discovered it was Evange in a frame, right? Yeah. They discovered that actually sparring in the dojo was way better than mining. It yeah. was like by far the best way to increase And keep in mind the stock market is gone. Easier, so too. this is, yeah, this is way easier to do. So all you have to do is spar and get that slime gain. And then, and you know, you may think to yourself, okay, but yeah, it's like mining where you, know, you have to go to the food court to get replenished. But wait, wait a second. Let, let me just type over here in the food court, give food to person who's not in the same district as me. Let yeah. me you know person that's in the dojo right now. It you, it, it worked. You could you it, could you were it, supposed it, to be able it, to order food for someone who was with you, but through a coding oversight, you could order food for someone anywhere. You could just teleport pizzas like you could just you could just like toss pizzas like frisbees anywhere on the map. You could toss them over the entire city and they would get exactly where they were going. So people could just Dude, camp, in the, the, camp in the dojo and people would just fling pizzas into them as they just got unbelievably powerful. <laughs> just training. Training under meditating under a waterfall in there and just like catching pizzas out of the air. Sh I assume. Shari's just like in front of the pizza oven like, all right, all right, give me one. Woo! All right, hello, I got a next one. Woo! <laughs> so, Slide off the fucking dojo. So this, uh... And, and so, imagine, so these are the two parts of the game. You have the fucking pizza worker peel. I'm just going over there and throwing people food. And then you have Nate who's just like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the, the sparring timer's up? Okay. All right, my, spar, okay. All right, grinder, back on grinder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. That was yeah, all you had. That, to, that's, that's, that's all you, you did. To do yeah, yeah. Suit to be like way ahead of the slime meta. Um, and it was a fucking so nightmare. So it was bullshit. So we deleted it. So uh, we fucking oh, erased well. slime from uh, the dojo. I, I want to say uh, that for e oh e e Ethan. yeah yeah Ethan Ethan. Ethan. I, uh, I want to repeat that Ben thought this was a good idea. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> ben in fact, he thought it was such a good idea that he, uh, much he had, like, gather a fucking gang of people to get him to admit that he was wrong. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> that doesn't ring a bell. And and so, the dojo meta is removed. You know, you can't get slime game that way in any way. But, but, all the killers, because the killers are the ones with the most amount of fucking fun. The riders are just fucking nobodies at this time. They, they are so fucking underground. And the killers are just so fucking powerful and they're just so fucking numerous that they're still inside the dojo and they have not left yet. Cough. I the reason that the killers are so powerful is because 
there, there was a siege on the dojo. Well, well I was, was just about to say that. I was oh, just about okay. to fucking say that. Oh, I was just about okay. to fucking I, say that. I, I, yeah, <laughs> and, and so the writers think, okay, these guys are still in the fucking dojo. We know that this update's coming out. That was a remove slime game. They're going to come out sooner or fucking later. And when they come out, we're gonna fuck their shit up. <laughs> we're rowdies. Huh? Thrash, thrash, ha, <laughs> thrash. <laughs> so, so they waddle on over to the outside of the fucking dojo <laughs> with, their, with, with their fucking shitty weapons repaired, <laughs> just, just with, 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 with their fucking Fisher Price bats wobbling in their fucking hands. <laughs> I mean, these fucking eldritch gods. And, and, and then, and so they're all around the dojo and they think, this is so fucking foolproof, we don't have to try at all to even slightly accomplish our goals. And so, like, 30 minutes after the siege starts, like, half of them just go to bed. <laughs> they just fucking start sleeping for no reason. And, and then I believe it's Hale, who just, like, walks outside and is invisible and then just, like, leaves and it doesn't even fucking matter. And Hale just walks back with it. Like, imagine, imagine, you walk out, so you see out the window, there's a bunch of rise with fucking Fisher Price bats. You're fucking scared of them. And then you see them like fall asleep. You walk outside, you just like walk down the street, you get pizza, you're walking back with the pizzas in your hand. You're still asleep. You just get your friends like, alright, let's fucking kill these people. <laughs> and, 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 and so the killers just fucking slaughter everyone, turn them into the rowdies. And it wasn't even hard. <laughs> it wasn't even hard. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> it, su it fucking sucks. Yeah! Ah, yeah! yeah! <laughs> It's okay. You got your just desserts, though. So slowly, as the meta changes, and slowly as everyone realizes that, uh, you know, if you're Nate, you can't check uh, the game every 50 minutes. You just get a fuck ton of slime anymore. So you know, you got skedaddle on out there and never play the game again. Which, by the way, Fat Yoshi, you got where? 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 Fat Yoshi. What? What? He's in the bathroom. Okay. I don't really care about what? that. Fat Yoshi gets the last kill on Nate, and Nate leaves the server again. That's right. To presumably do some nefarious. Slime Corp stuff. Slime Corp. Remember, slime. That, remember that name for, for later? Mm. Mm, there, strange. There was... Was Slime Corp in season one? Yeah. Like well, officially? Yeah, well, not, we, we, not, we, not we talked about it. Yeah. Uh, do. Yes, it was. Levy uh, made like... Well, yeah, no, he made we, we talked about it, but it wasn't like a gameplay. It, it, it was this presence. idea rumored to be around. Since we live in the perfect, you know, anno prim, uh, anarcho capitalist society, like Endless War, like New Los Angeles, Kingdom Mafia, obviously there would be one giant charismatic mega corporation that would just own everyone and they would all be their slaves. And, you know, there'd be like a fucking terrible. Uh, yeah, mega corporation, mm -hmm. and that was Slime Corp. What are they doing? Well, to what ends are their evil fucking boss man capitalists? What are they trying to do to us? What fucking freakish experiments are they going under underground? Are they literally Shinra? Answer yes. Um, and uh, we'll just leave them be until they come back in a big, big, big way later. But yeah, Nate fucks off. Everyone who's used to the Dojo meta fucks off because the game's completely fucking different now. And uh, you have to actually like play the game, which is like no one's down for that. No one's fucking. If we down go for back to the days, we go back to the days of the game being brutally, unremittingly hard and just a torturous slog to get through. <laughs> it fucks you up every day, and that's that's what it was intended to be. And now it's back, and and all's right with the world. Since the game is being taken way more seriously now by the devs and by the players, and everyone's trying to fucking min max their shit. Keep in mind, during season one, like everyone wanted slime because like fuck yeah slime, dude, <laughs> yeah. fuck yeah slime, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Meanwhile, everyone in season two is like, okay, I have to do this fucking HK, right? If I can get expo exploration uh, 3.5 slime faster if I do it this way. Oh, boy, if I have this uh, specific uh, like, uh, HK step, then I can do oh, it's, uh, the calculation over here. Okay, I have 0. 0.325 more slime than my opponent over here. I've got this uh, encounter in the fucking bag, bro. I got this encounter in the fucking bag. So everyone's trying getting fucking stupidly autistic to the point where it's scary, even to me. <laughs> and, uh, and, and a little guy named Nobi steps up and thinks, the Rowdies, they used to be nobodies, but now they're somebodies. Nobi over here was the withering prince of public works. He was a consort. There have been more consorts in the first three, and they kept expanding as the Rowdies got bigger and bigger and bigger. And boy, howdy, did the Rowdies get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There were just fucking... Floods of Tomb Rowdies just fucking bursting in, playing the game, kicking the killer's ass, and obliterating them fucking completely. Tumor is what you are if you join in season two, by the way. Yeah. You're, you're, a, you're a tumor. It's fucking On sad. On society. So, to repeat, no slur-based, born dead, tumor. Mm-hmm. And if you're joining, and if you're a tumor, you're the fucking worst. Yeah, you are the stupidest person in the entire world. You're killing Trap! 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 Okay, so... What, what? Fat Yoshi, did you say anything? Well, no, no, no. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Okay, 
So, everyone's taking it super seriously. And so, Nobi, even though he's a concert, even though he's on top of the world, and the riders are gaining prevalence in game and in lore, he thinks, this isn't right. I, I, this isn't fucking right, guys. Hey, guys, it's me, Nobi. I'm so fucking stupid. I mean, wait, I have a great idea, actually, is what I meant to say. I'm gonna go kill her. <gasps> Dab. Yeah. Shocking. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> He's gonna go kill her, and he's gonna set the game balance right. And you know what? Nobody did it, and the game was perfectly balanced. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. Um, it did literally nothing. <laughs> so, 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 so. Uh, I, I believe. Please give me the replay of events. I believe it was Matt was there, and, and did you kill Matt first? Is that what no. happened? No. So, um. This is Nobi, by the way. Robo. Uh. Uh. I, I asked Robo to want to do something. <laughs> And then I just fucking beat his ass. Thrash, 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 thrash,
Um, but that's what I'm doing. So, so Shraff becomes the new face of the killers because all the old killers have fucked up. People like the Cinder, people like Lane Slimes, like don't even fucking care. The cough. Pe- people like Ben saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I went out for gone. cigarettes and I never came back. <laughs> um, the two that slime. Ooh. Yes, slime. Yes, yes. Okay, and and Wait, so sh- let me shake it in the in the microphone. Ah, oh, 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 slosh, there's, slosh, there, slosh. There, there's a whole bunch of fucking, you know, g- rise of gameplay goons. And then me and Ben think, okay, listen, everyone cares about the game. It's been so fucking long since we had our last one. It's time. Hey, I don't care about that. I care about myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sad. <laughs> um, so we, we go back. To the grinding board, and we get all of our slime that our people have accrued over various many hours of gameplay. We come back for Slime Fest Three, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, do you want to explain why we chose to do Brawl? Because it wasn't just because we picked a game like, oh, um, I wanted to do this game. Because, just like all your fucking game recommendations, you're like, you're like, oh, Ben, this video game was my childhood. <laughs> I am absolutely <laughs> living for this game. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, you I are going to love, for Pokemon you are gonna love Darkness. this. You're going to have so much fun. This is going to change and enrich your life. Not just sap an entire year away from you. Like, like and just drain you. Just drain like the fucking blood out of your face and turn you into, and turn you into a fucking cadaver. Well, which, by the way, I want to let you know that we haven't left you hanging. We're still playing yeah. XD Gale of Darkness at this point of the timeline. And we don't yeah. finish for like half a year more. We like we like the stream is like every fucking week. Yeah. And it, just, it won't end, <laughs> and, it, and we hate it. We, like we've been playing like yeah every week since the entire the entire duration of the fucking server is still not over. So that's the kind of fucking games that we play. And so I think and you pull but, another one, another I, genius movie I, I, like Ben. Okay, I know I know we loved XD so much, but guess and, what? and we are still currently I, we currently live for it. I love. Brawl, and I'm just, I'm not even that good at it. Yeah, like, I, I, no, I'm like I'm a, no, I know, the, the subspace emissary. The subspace emissary has such beautiful it's fucking such a great story. Char- it's a beautiful it, the, story. The, the, the characterization of the Nintendo characters, I love so you're fucking gonna, much. You're gonna it's masterful. Have... Shakespeare, get raped. <laughs> fucking Masahiro Sakurai, please rape me. That's how I fucking feel. <laughs> And and so we play. So I eight, spend eight torturous eight, hours eight on the couch hours. playing this stupid We play the entire campaign game. from that, the start that sucks, to finish. By the way, and is bad from start to finish. Just a waste of everyone's time. Yo, you, you, you want you want to redo the stream? You want to do it and after the, this? Why do you want to play for all? And then yeah, the yeah. fucking hard drive fails and doesn't capture the footage. So it's all for nothing. Um, and the and our rowdy fuckers cop killer was canceled forever. Uh, and, Atlanta, uh, and we quit the show with bad blood. And uh, the reason that uh, we started beef. The, the reason why we it was deleted is because it was running like a really shitty like I don't know like it was like, just formatted as something called Fat Thirty Two, w- which, which just devilish. which apparently just means doesn't work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so, so it just didn't save for but, no reason. But what did survive was Ben's crushing defeat in Slime Fest Three. Uh, literally the most embarrassed, like the lowest part he, of our. He's, you you sort you you you. you Promise me, you're like I'm not that good at Smash Bros. Bro, I'm not that good. It's not gonna be a total route. You're not gonna. Well, guess what? I got the moral victory again, <laughs> again, hey, Ethan, every single Ethan, time. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Ben was so fucking depressed at the end of Smash Bros. Three. Like, just like pull your head down. Yeah. Like, like pull your arms down too. Like, that, like that's what you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, and so my, like Munchie had to do like the pep talk for him. Like, like come on, killers. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. Come back from I couldn't. Yeah. Get, I couldn't look him in the face. Uh, but I want to say that Ben like lost like six stocks to like me sucking up this Kirby and going off the cliff. Like that's how he lost the majority of his stocks. Cough. Like they had twenty five stock each yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. Munchie had twenty like one stock at the end, and and, ben and I had and lost everything. Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, it, was it wasn't. It, wa- it wasn't. It wasn't even like, close. I, I, I'm a rowdy, and I was sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dupity. I also the, the tone of the slime fest was like completely different than the other. Two yeah, was, the, no. the other ones were live stream. The other ones were at the like like very like lore defined events, and this one releases as a YouTube premiere, and it's me and Ben because we're so tired because we recorded an eight hour episode yeah, that yeah, no yeah. one will ever see. So we're at the end of our. So we're already rope. miserable. Yeah, and then we play this game, and I'm routed so hard, and it's just torture from yeah, yeah. And like I can tell, like I think even you are feeling like I feel bad crushing him this bad. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm gonna keep doing it, but like boy, I can really tell this is a dick move I'm doing right now. But that's 
that's fine. I, 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 I kept like during matches, I was like trying to like coach you. Like, did you know that like you? Can, and it like, was you can so fucking. Of the, it made it so much worse. Um, it was fucking great. It was yeah. it was the best moment of my fucking relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so the killers are just so fuck. They they watch that and they just like suicide in real life <laughs> um, because they know that Ben Saint will never win a video game, which spoiler correct is still true. That's <laughs> so sad. Um, and, and then we, me, and Ladderlist want to lift the spirits of the server. We want to spread joy and cheer and festivity across the land because it's about that time. It's about that time where the moon gets short and the sun starts to get long again. <laughs> <laughs> and me and Ladderlist, around the same time that you were developing nefarious technology to be reused with slime, we combine it to one mega right. update. That's right. Slimonalia and... Slimoids. These are fucking Look, huge! After, after, after the, my failure at Slime Fest 3? Yeah, 3. I retreated to the to the cathedral basement mm -hmm. and I didn't leave for weeks. I was down there like concoct, like with bubbling, bubbling ickers yeah. and combining goos in vats and stuff. And I came out with a new creature. I came out with a new breed of creature. A new a species a of new, animal. New, <laughs> yes. Uh, Dude, that became everyone in the slime. server's best friends and everyone loved them. Everyone loves their slimoids. Um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Take this thing. I don't want. I, don't I made. I made. This. I made Pokemon in RFCK. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Now you have Pokemon. And but you cut. They're a custom made fucking monster builder. You give them whatever fucking head you want, bro. That dude. There's so many brains, dog. Like so many dude, brains. Dude. Dude. Spa, bro. Fucking. Dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and and me and Ladderless, because I think to myself, okay, listen, I've literally done nothing for Endless War this entire time. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And I then it, it, was, it was me and Crack at this point. And yeah. And at some point it switched, and now I'm the absent father figure, yeah. and, you, and you're the real boy. So I think, okay, time to pull myself up on my flip flop straps, and time to actually become a real boy. I learned Python, and my first real update that I work on with Ladderlist, who is just my crack to, you know, I'm Ben now, which is really scary. It's, it's as bad as it sounds. <laughs> um, dude, Ladderlist, what if we add, like, what if we add, like, like, cosmetics, and, like, we can have, like, juveniles, like, like, they're the ones who shoot people instead of the gangsters? And I whip him, and I whip him, and I whip him, and I fucking fondle him, and he does it. He fucking does it with me and for me. He's literally my slave. And uh, so we release Summer Nalia, which is a, a festive, uh, not Christmas. I don't even know what Christmas is. No one Christmas is. I think that's the thing they talk about in Whoville and Ron Howard's Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000 HD. But other than that, but, 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 but other than that, I have no fucking clue what it is. This is Slimer Nalia. It's the most festive time of the year. So, for this special holiday event, food is free. You can order whatever food you want. You know, there's no slime coin. It doesn't cost any slime. You can just order it for free. And you can give gifts to people. You can trade gifts now. Uh, you can trade items now. It's fucking awesome. And, and juveniles can now, are the only ones that are able to shoot guns. And they take control of the city. And everyone's just a fucking juvenile in the fucking mines. Getting long, this is literally like fucking Napoleon Bonaparte, like an army walks on its stomach. Getting fucking long care vines of fucking juveniles just passing like, oh, one over the one over the other. Fucking long ball trading pizza pies to one another. <laughs> this, is, this is just the new form of teleporting pizza. It's just a long fucking caravan of rowdies trying to get each other fucking, like, like from, from the grill to the depths of the earth. Just one long line of people going. Just doing hamburger and like KFC deals and so it's just a bunch of juveniles no more kill no more killers no more rise for this pint and because of this because of this loss of identity because of this loss of traditional values and, and fractions there's one <laughs> killer who wants to make a change that killer is Sweet Mouse, a.k.a. Alex, a.k.a. a ground floor boy and institution cultural institution he thinks to himself it's about that time and so he thinks combining okay Slimoids are out. The way you get better slimoids is you put more slime into the incubation vat. You have to so, use, you mentioned podrons before. You yeah. mine for podrons, you find these crystals. You have to use a crystal as like yeah. the base of them. And then you put your own slime, yeah. your own lifeblood into that. Yeah. And you beep, 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 the little buttons and it goes, <laughs> no, I don't want this. And it coheres and it fucking bursts it out onto the floor in front of you. And there's your new best friend for life. And you put it in a bottle and you put it in your fridge and you forget about okay. it. Okay, and, and, and so Sweet Mouse thinks, I want the bestest, biggest friend. Yeah. And to do so, <laughs> and, and so to do this, I will cunningly use slave labor to help me achieve my ends. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so Sweet Mouse is like, okay, Rowdies, 
if you can give me a nine foot mega slime, or I'm sorry, nine foot slimeoid using one hundred million, 100 million slime, slime, which actually play. means something again in season two. Like this is not sex trillion trigger novel <laughs> amounts of slime anymore. We're back to basics, an unbelievable, unfathomable amount of slime. Then I will join Rowdies and through various mining accidents this, and this, hours this was wasted. An original top killer, an original top killer. You yeah. sold it all for a big. Fucking Bat. cat, a yeah, big, big fucking, fucking cat. It <laughs> totally fucking worth it. Fast, 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 fast. Good for him. That's one top killer down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many more to go. Many more to go. Fast, 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 fast. Um, it's amazing. And so Malinex leaves, and at the end of Slimer Nalian, an even bigger update releases than compared to what's even happened before. Because the entire point of why this doesn't happen now, the entire as envisioned by Ben Saint, a new update releases. Territory control, which forever oh, yes. changes what the game right. is about. That's what the map was kind of intended to be about. And it wasn't for like a couple no, months, it but was now just, it, it is. Was, before the map was just like every other feature in Endless War, which is just a needless impediment to your yeah. progress. <laughs> <laughs> now it actually did something. Now it's a needless impediment that sucks away hours from your fucking life. <laughs> yeah. uh, but by the way, like Ethan, can, can you come over close to the mic and just like illustrate what it's like to be in a rowdy capping pa- rappy, uh, rowdy capping party at three a.m. <sighs> oh, you know, I gotta get my, oh wait, wait, Matt moved to like smallest period. Okay, I guess I better call him. Um, okay, I'm gonna put my phone down now. All capping amounted to was just fucking standing around. Doing <laughs> and and so it was great. Everyone fucking loved it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so everyone was walking. Save walk- the game. Everyone was, is alive everyone was out walking their fucking terrible, terrifying slime creatures <laughs> that were fucking deformed monstrosities. <laughs> that, that, that all were either like pure sex appeal fem like slime slime girls or like disgusting abomination like eldritch <laughs> monsters. No in between. They were walking them out, walking from district to district. They'd be walking around, and then you know some fucking rowdies come by, obliterate thing completely, have have a, have an orgy of violence, and then stand completely still in the middle of a district while while all like, happened before going on to the next fucking one. That's what the game is now. It's just fucking stop and go and stop and go, and your heart fucking pounding even though you're doing literally nothing. It's literally just adrenaline for free. Like there's nothing you even have to fucking do. It's just a fucking drug hit now. That's all in this war is, and it's fucking awesome. Um, drag race. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, we're not gonna get too much into it, but let's just say there was once a little boy cyborg named Kevin. So <laughs> he joined the server. Everyone hated him. <laughs> he said shit no one should say, <laughs> and it was really, really bad. And so. Ethan thinks to himself, this has to fucking end. <laughs> this, this can't keep happening. Kevin can't keep posting this fucking server. And so you step up and you say, I offer you a wager, dear sir. Dear, dear, dear yellow Yakuza kingpin retro gamer Kevin. I say to you, we will drag race. Whoever loses has to leave the server five ever. That's more than four. <laughs> a friend. Okay, the, the agreement wasn't even that. Okay. He, Ethan, Ethan said, okay, who, okay, Kevin, if you lose, Kevin, you have to leave forever. But if you win, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and, 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 so, and so, Ethan, just come back here and give me the play by play. Because, I, like,. I need to understand that this is like imagination to the fucking like uh, like highest limit of what imagination can possibly be. Like describe it in lore, and then I'll describe like what is actually happening, like like literally with your eyes. No, yeah, okay. So so Kevin's talking about oh you know like oh you know like fucking like baby Kevin you know baby mage bullshit. Yeah. And I'm thinking like this had this has to end. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think back to a, a, a quote. From uh, Naibo, wh- while they were role playing as as Groovy Do, famous <laughs> artist, and, 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 they, and they said, "If you're not a funny character, then no one will remember you." Yeah. <laughs> so I think to myself, "I better be a funny character <laughs> soon." Uh, so I so I say this, so I say to Kevin, you know, you know, l- 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 let's have a fucking race. And, yeah. and meanwhile, I'm, I'm I'm coming up with like the master fucking plan <laughs> because in territorial control, if your team captures a district, 
you move faster through yeah. the district. Mm. And if you're a, you know an enemy gang member, then you move slower through that district. Yeah. So I knew that, okay, if downtown and like fucking like Smogsburg and so on is captured, then I, I just win by default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, we'll start in South Seasboro, we'll go all the way to a Salt Flats beach. Yeah. Uh, and cross the map, man. Cross the map. After, after like Kevin like argues with his mom for like forty five minutes, <laughs> he, he, he just like reluctantly agrees. It doesn't even start moving when I like when I say go. He uh, just like doesn't start his car. And, like like both I can't remember Ethan are like like yeah. it up, and, like push on the gas pedal. Both of them are giving stink eyes. It so's go. Ethan roars off, and Kevin just is roaring the pedal still, yeah. looking to the side where Ethan used to be. And when he gets to Smogsburg, he thinks, "Oh, I'm gonna take a shortcut." Yeah. Even though like the pathfinding in the game gives you the best route automatically. <laughs> He's gonna take a shortcut, so he just fucking so he just goes off course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but then something happens. But you see, before all this, I say in Graffiti Wall, which is a channel where you can fucking post whatever, yeah. I say in Graffiti Wall, hey, I'm going to race Kevin. No, nobody do any gay shit. I, I want to jump in here, because this is where it's important. Go ahead. So yeah, so keep in mind that during this, you fucking get a big back of the <laughs> scurries away, like with his tail between his legs. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, no, That's no literally sad. That's right literally now. sad. No slosh. No, no, stop! Oh, so, so what's happening now is we, we're imagining like this, is, like drifting, like we're all closing our eyes, like around these, co like these two people just standing in the district. He's like, oh my god, this is so fucking epic. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ethan just starts literally here. Like, Ethan says, "You start walking to South." <laughs> 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 it's just giving really the text, like the channel changes sometimes. <laughs> And, okay, and so this is happening, and so the tumor gameplay goons conspire to make everything go to shit, to make culture <laughs> to, to kill die, culture. to kill culture, and so Shraft and Kip, literally the worst people to ever be born <laughs> on the planet, <laughs> think, to, think to themselves, you know what's cooler than like community events? Slime. <laughs> <laughs> Getting our numbers up. Killer slime. <laughs> dab, dab. And, and so they go They go over to fucking the finish line where Ethan is. And Ethan's fucking guy's trophy, all the hot fucking slime girl babes are around him. Uh, Ethan, yeah. Oh, I, I should state that at the time, like, I was the biggest rowdy around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the most slime. And so before all this happened, like, Frog was begging and pleading with me, like, Ethan, please don't fucking do this. <laughs> 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 yeah, the cop, yeah. Well, I... Just because we we like every single time there would be a like an event within the city, dude would say, "Okay, guys, like there's an event, like don't kill each other, like please, like nobody kill each other." And every single time, people <laughs> would kill each other. And so and so this one time, everybody was like hanging out on the street mm -hmm. and nobody was killing each other. And and so Ethan was like the like, t like the biggest rowdy taking this huge risk just like going out to do some yeah. stupid fucking race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some stupid fucking idiot. Wait, let's all above them calmly but walking to their destination. They, they go and they start the race and, and it's like, oh my god, this is so good. Like like, like nobody's killing each other. But the Pe the, world like, peace at last. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the guys, fly boy race. This is great. Meanwhile, the, the Shrapped and fucking Kip! Me, me, Shrapped and Kip! Meanwhile, this 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 killer called Heya is like oh, messaging okay. oh, Ethan yeah. is messaging Ethan saying no Ethan don't do it don't do it like trust me don't do it and meanwhile Heya has been a killer for like 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 a month yeah <laughs> like 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 he's a killer like that's like what people know him as mm -hmm. and so he's telling Ethan like like don't do it Ethan don't do it and Ethan's like fuck you <laughs> like, like, like I'm gonna beat this fucking gamer kid. <laughs> He's gonna eat my fucking dust. <laughs> and so they go, and they and then they come up to the finish line yeah. and, go, and go. Oh, well, uh, Migo, Migo, because yeah, yeah. Uh, Shrapt comes on up with his, was it a scythe or katana at the katana. time? Katana. Katana. He comes up with his fucking katana, and as Ethan gets the trophy and he says, the winner are is you, <laughs> and Shrapt comes up and slices his fucking head off. <laughs> Kip is there too. I assume just like twirling his nunchucks, just like watching Trap do it, just like, in an idle animation next to a Connor shout. And then Kevin comes. Kev, Kevin finally comes in. The yeah. middle. Everyone's left. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's like, what? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, like Ethan's like corpse, like beheaded on the floor. <laughs> Everyone's scattered. The, the the streets desolate of life. <laughs> 
and, and, and so the, the, the game continues much like this. You know, the Rise and the Killers trying to gain an inch on one. They're trying to optimize their AHKs that are supposed to be banned. Please don't use them. But everyone fucking uses them no matter what. Ben Saint actually activated his AHK one time, if I remember correctly. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> Mining's hard. Yeah. <laughs> you literally just type mine a lot. You just got being pasted. That's how hard it is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so this happens like for, for a couple more months. And then as season two is winding down, we are approaching the first year anniversary of Endless War. This has been a full 365 since the games began. There's been trials, there's been tribulations, there's been born deaths, there have been tumors, there's been traps, there's been kips, there's been gabes, there's been septries, there's been everyone on the face of the planet playing the best MMO you can play in a Discord server. The oldest anarchy server in, in, Discord. Yeah. in Discord. And so we're revving up and we think, okay, let's do something fucking special. Let's do something fucking special. Let's finish Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Final. A let's year, a do year it. in. Let's bring it back. Let's go down to fucking basics and let's go back to streaming it and let's make sure that we fucking finish it. And uh, just, you know, we hear a lot of the Cypher Peon battle music. <laughs> Um, and it's a fucking nightmare. And we finally end it for all. We finally end it forever. And that Pokemon actually Guild Darkness is gone forever. And we like try to play Battle for Bikini Bottom, but it's like the worst <laughs> mistake we no! ever no! made. We couldn't, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't like, do it. Pokemon it was X so Pokemon bad. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Nuzlocke took us a year, didn't beat us. Bikini Bottom beat us. We Which couldn't. We couldn't like, do like it. Like two streams in, we like eight hours. We weren't equal to the task. No. We find we started streaming just us watching the the, the, the like the eye catch video. Yeah, yeah. And not even playing the game, and then two videos later we're like, I can't do it. I, yeah. can't, I cannot fucking take this anymore. This is, has to end. Yeah. So it did. And, and, and so we plan a bunch of RFK stuff. We release a new episode on the first year anniversary of Endless War. We praise. We talk about our experiences with it, about how it shaped and changed all of our fucking lives. Uh, crack. We, we hang out with him. I forget. We, we did something with him. Was it? Was he? At, he was during the stream. He came out during the stream, right? Uh, which stream? The which the birthday stream. We had like a fucking twenty four hour, like a twelve hour stream. Was or that the, was that like the dev Q and A yeah, stream? Yeah. Oh, well, that happened a long time ago. But I think. Okay. Well, maybe we just did another one. We just did another one. Everyone was there. Everyone was friends. Everything was great. And Endless War himself, the green ass dildo obelisk in the middle of town, thought to himself, "Hmm." Be a great time to rip the space time continuum right about now. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and so Endless War snaps, which means he goes. And and, then, and 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 then everyone's transported to an alternate dimension all of a sudden. That's all a fucking nightmare. <laughs> We're transported to a fucking psychedelic kaleidoscope world where everything's blue and orange and it fucking sucks and it's terrible. And uh, the game is reverted back to its original, you know, end of season one era. The stock market is back. Big Slime is back. And uh, it's literally the worst thing to ever happen to anyone in their entire lives. Uh, just like that, the game is ruined again. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it was so easy to do. I can't believe we didn't do it sooner. <laughs> and so, uh, Canman, obviously the czar of commerce, you know, ground floor boy from way back in the day, th way back in the day, thinks, haven't played the game in months? Stock market's back? <laughs> easy. <laughs> and so immediately, no one even, like, tries killing each other because they all fucking know that doesn't matter. They all fucking know that that's not a thing anymore. And so they're like, okay, Cryptocurrency, that's the only thing I fucking give a shit about. And so they all start uh, the, getting as much slime coins as they fucking can. Pizza Shannon. Yeah. Uh, actually, when, when that fucking started, immediately every single fucking rowdy killed Shrav. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Ethan. It, it got to be such a problem that, like, well, okay, like, the main, the main like, bad guy here was Matt. Like, yeah. Matt was so fucking big that, like, killers just started going rowdy so they <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be killed by him. <laughs> so, like, like, gang violence is just, like, you know, like, there's a certain big people who just will fucking kill you instantaneously. It's not like, you know, people are shooting each other. It's like some fucking giant eight-foot-tall monstrosity is <laughs> just fucking stomping at you. Like, it's like some fucking eldritch guy just, like, thinks about you for a second and you're fucking wiped off the map. <laughs> Me meanwhile, Canman, the anarcho-capitalist, just breaking in the fucking slime around the fucking printer. De like, depreciating the entire value of slime coins, like, making the entire economy crash. No one can afford food, no one can go outside. It's a literal fucking nightmare. Meanwhile, in this war, he has his birthday hat on, he's fucking jamming out to fucking slime tunes. Connor. <laughs> Play the first day of this, like going back to season one. If you were there on the ground floor, 
like you were gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the only, like you can't, like the economy went so high you couldn't buy one slime coin. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had to get handouts. You had to like make. Just bang on the tree. You had to like say, "Hey, Shawnee, please give me slime coins." Like, okay, draw me something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And and uh, meanwhile, <laughs> so everyone in their proper place. Uh, I think myself, guys, this is really festive. I, I want to hang out with the people. Let, let me hang out with the people. Let me let me say a few jokes in the server. Let me. Oh, you know, I wasn't here during the original season one. I'll make up for it in this funny fucking intermission, ha. Huh? Let me go mine. Like you know, I like how you do as a slime boy, ha. Huh? Mine, mine, mine. You have died in a mine accident. <laughs> <laughs> and so me, a kingpin, who was like. Easily crushing all of like I, I had like more slime than was like theoretically possible to achieve within the confines of mathematics. I I, I just immediately like fucking dynamite actually like, crumbled beneath me. I returned to I I become a ghost and I'm just a fucking ghost now. My name's Ghostly and I I like to like haunt people. I guess it's a fucking nightmare. Season one point five was a mistake. It's a fucking terrible time. Um. I, I summon the next slime, but it doesn't matter because in the square just bone hurt beams him. Which is a thing that you can bone hurt beam people. <laughs> uh and it's over. And it's over. And like that, and like that, the game returns to the normal. Innsport comes off his fucking high. He unsnops, and everyone goes back to normal, and they replaced back into their original timeline. And it's just in time to the beginning of season three. Woo! Oh, no. Can we please get a three tard run because a, a three tard run he chanted three tard run 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 draft is based he is the fucking base tumor that everyone fucking loves can we get a fucking base tumor base tumor base tumor base tumor base tumor base tumor it's all about the fucking three tards and how fucking terrible of people they are and how tumors like all the dojo manage you remember the fucking dragons dude that was so fucking lit dude we have culture too now three tards oh jeez oh that's oh they can't all be winners bro leaves in the wind yeah terrifying fucking terror like the depravity of which three tards will fucking sink is kind of like astounding and terrifying. And and, and so we're gonna circle back to Slime Corp because we last we left them they were literally nothing they had no fucking stick in literally anything and now like okay. everything revolves around them it's well, a terrible nightmare. Well, Slime Corp did become important in season two because now the way to get Slime Corp yes. you had you had to donate your slime to Slime Corp and they would issue you currency so you could buy their products yeah. back from them. Which uh, was an ingenious marketing ploy, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I don't know uh, why no one's tried it sooner. And, and so Slime Corp realizes, okay, listen, the slime, mar the slime stock market thing, this shit's fucking, dude. User engagement, brand recognition, Rude -rude. hell fucking yes. And so Slime Corp brings back, you know, they do what crack, they do what all the devs couldn't do. They bring back stock market in a new and improved, completely balanced way that in no way uh, mimics what happened before. And there's no more big numbers. <laughs> Don't check the leaderboard of Slime Coin. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Game's Don't fixed. worry. Game's, Game's fixed. fixed. Game's, Game's fixed. fixed. Game's fixed. Game's fixed. Game's fixed. What the fuck is this? Um, it's a nightmare. After we, after we defeat Pokemon XC Gale of Darkness, after we destroy it, we say to Nate, in 8, we say to him, Hey, Pokemon battle now, bitch. We fucking hate you. All your fucking Nate hits are so goddamn annoying when you frequently you know, come to our chat and they're like, Oh, what's a Dex command? Dude, ha, you're in the gun, ha. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare and we're going to defeat you in the field of battle, in the field of Pokemon battle, using our Nuzlocke Pokemon to defeat you. We crush him easily. Like, we were on the ropes, like, hilariously badly losing. And then, like, Nate timed out. He fucking uh, yeah, timed that's out right. the battle. That's right. He just timed out. And so we had to do a rematch. And in that rematch, Nate, like, was, like, disintegrated immediately. Like, he was turned to ash upon entering the battle screen. Like, his Pokemon just, like, instantaneously evaporated. And he was fucking without any, you know, way to defend himself. Me and Ben whipped out our fucking revolvers and shot him dead. And out popped some fucking folders. And in those folders 
It was a That's link right. to slimecorp.net. Link in the description. And, like, li link in the doobly-doo because... to, to the side here, guys. Vaughn uh, Brothers. Uh, Hell yeah, dude. Because Nate was a Slime Corp executive. So, yes. of course, he would have high-ranking confidential Duh, of, documents. Of, of, of like, course. it makes perfect sense, and it's all perfectly consistent. We're everything a, is canon. We're, we're such fucking we're so geniuses. Fucking we thought yeah, of it. Yeah, we yeah, 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 fucking got they a no fucking idea. They have we no fucking idea. They have no fucking idea. Fuck yes, dude. This is like good. They think this is good. They're spending their fucking time on it. Dude, they're so fucking. Dude, dude, they came fucking here to Boston. We, I mean, New Los Angeles City like for this. Like, what the fuck? We want the Slimer Made market and we have fucking cornered it, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh yeah. Uh, and so out pops this fucking monstrosity of an aborted fetus of an ARG, which is the Slime Corn Park, which is still happening. God, let it fucking end. Um, we're, we're, you know, okay, in air quotes, when, uh, you know, the, uh, Slime Corp releases, you know, challenges for the players to do, you know, the amount of resources, then, you know, hey, get this amount of slime, and we will update the game. Uh, <laughs> uh, it didn't work out like that. <laughs> End of the month, guys, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, End of the month, every month. And, and so, yeah, yeah come on. Like, every, every goal... Oh, yeah, the court, the court. Come every on. goal was, like, reached, like, within a week. Yeah. And, like, the, there was no time to, like, make the next update. Like, yeah. Like, every, every time you made the number, like, no one's gonna, like, it's gonna take so... It's gonna take a month to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, and then we'll release the update a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, like, every single time. And, and this quickly becomes when Slime Corp reaches prominence, and, and it seems like, okay, gameplay married... Or gameplay and culture are gonna be started to be married together again. Okay, it's, it's time for some... Uh, this crucible to breed some new people. Let's hope it's a good time. In pops Matt. He's been a rowdy since the beginning, and he thinks to himself, it's time to ruin my reputation. <laughs> and, and it's, 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 it's time. Okay, okay, listen, I'll say this about killers. Listen, killers have no integrity, and they'll often switch to rowdy, but at least they don't fucking plummet in the personality market. At least they don't fucking plummet into utter debauchery like the rowdies do. When the rowdies stop being rowdies, they stop being human beings. <laughs> they stop being fucking sentient creatures worthy of life. Uh, they become fucking minuscule homunculi. There's just no lower you can sink than a Yeah, no, there's literally... about that. It's, it's, it's true, it's true. And so, uh, Slime Corp adds bad stocks, and then uh, during all this, during all of Season 3, Slime Corp releases new, more new quarterly reports, and they think, okay, when you release this one, we'll release mutations. And then once you hit that, we have, like, an ARG and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Because what is important is fishing. This <laughs> fishing <laughs> is the most important goddamn this, thing this was, to ever be released, okay. ever. okay. Farming, fishing, milling, hunting, the wild. These was all like a big uh, uh, crop of new features that were added or expanded in the wake of season three when we brought a whole bunch of new developers in. Yeah. So they, they were, like the, the dev team like quadrupled and stuff. Yeah, it, it fucking expanded to unreasonable degrees. On the dev team right now, you have like fucking a billion people. You got fucking the real developers, aka me, Magix, and Ethan, uh, and Media Learner. And then you have the developers, like Dupri Schmoople and Gabu. <laughs> and then you have like the one hit wonders who are always one hit wonders, but only once a month hit wonders. <laughs> Aerosol would just walk in like, hey, I released an update. All right, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> And, and so, yeah, so this all, we with the Slime Corp, so a bunch of new developers are pumping out these fucking updates when uh, quarterly reports are released and in interlocked into them. So, for instance, uh, the you know, again, the stocks were come back, and then after the first quarterly report was uh, released, then they added, what, what was it, milling? What, what was it, mutations? Mutations. Mutations. Yeah. So, uh, they got mutations, and now there's a fucking whole new mechanic where when you get slime, you fucking turn into a nuclear throne, and you get to fucking spontaneously combust and explode when you die. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a fucking genius maneuver, and so this sort of stuff happens. It's very, it's very old school game. You just lose for no reason. It's very much in my wheelhouse. And yeah, I, and I appreciate it. <laughs> um, it's literal fucking Kino. That's what it fucking is. And and, and in with all the stuff there is like you know, um, d at one point, uh, Frog tries to make smelting. Uh, which is like a new cracking system, and I read his code and I think no, and then I and, I, and then I pull a crack and then rewrite it completely, and then I and I get so fucking hot through my own fumes. I think okay, this crafting system. What if you could craft Exodia, but instead of Exodia, it was Slime Zodia because we <laughs> like slime. And, and, and so I made this this item where you could go to the bazaar and you could unwrap trading card booster packs, and it would literally just give you like a, a like a message saying like there's nothing in this, like you get. 
gain nothing from this. Like, I don't know why you did this. But you had like a one in like one billion chance to get a Slime Zodia card. And you've got all five, and you could craft Slime Zodia, the forbidden one. And if you got a Slime Zodia, the forbidden one, and you and you smelt it together, like how many was it? Like, like it was like 60,000 like soft crust pizzas. Two hundred and fifty-six stuffed crust pizza together. Then you would get the like <laughs> sex into trigonal double stuffed crust pizza, and you smelled that with slime zodia. You would get for the forbidden stuffed crust pizza, and, and if you ate the forbidden stuffed crust pizza, well, that's what everyone wanted to find out, didn't they? And and, and, and so as soon as the update releases, everyone fucking rushes to the bazaar as fast as they can, and just has to buy as many fucking trade cards as they fucking can, just throwing wrappers on the fucking ground. Just, oh my god, please, slime zodia, please, please, please. <laughs> I have to know what that flavor text says! I have to know what that flavor text says! <laughs> Even though, like, the code is open source, yeah, yeah. you can look at it. Uh, uh, so, the, because Munchie wanted people to craft the Slime Zodia, but he knew that everyone would go and read the flavor text on the web, on GitHub and, like, goon the thing, Mm -hmm. He made it so that that was in a separate file that you couldn't access on the, the game. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. He thought yeah. of everything. So you actually had to do it. To see <laughs> what <laughs> stuff crust was. Okay. To, to, to this day, if you go to the bazaar and you scavenge, you still find booster packs. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, they bought so fucking many. <laughs> Dude, imagine you go to this fucking Middle Eastern fucking Aladdin ass bazaar. You stop. Oh, what? What's that crunchy noise? Booster packs just littered all over the floor. The actual ground floor is like five feet down below. It's just, you're so fucking elevated by booster packs. They play a new bazaar on top of it. That's what it was fucking like. Uh, it was fucking beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. Hunting, going back to this, hunting was a thing released for the third quarterly report. Did, did they ever do the Forbidden Exodiac pizza crust? Did they ever get it? Or oh, it? oh, 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 well, uh, there was a little guy by the name of Coonrat. Who, uh, oh. who, 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 who unfortunately wasn't just Coon Rat 1, he was Card God, oh. Coon Rat 1. And uh, he, uh, he, he swept the victory away from Darling Darling Pizza Chan. Yeah, Ethan? Like, like, Matt and Frog were in the bazaar for like fucking hours, just <laughs> unwrapping trading card packs constantly, and Coon Rat just gets it. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Wait, so what happened when he ate the Forbidden Stuff Crust Pizza? He just got like a flavor text, it was completely pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Dash, 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 Uh, Fat Yoshi, you have a question? Oh, okay. Uh, Pizza Chan. Can I explain that last day when he got the pizza? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was, it was me, him, and I think Marsalwin was like a, a lookout. Mm -hmm. We were both trying to get the last fucking piece of, of Exodia, and I got it. And, uh, we were fucking getting so many uh, trading cards oh, yeah. that we couldn't fucking do any, we couldn't move. <laughs> so, all the killers were conspiring against me yeah. and waiting outside. Na naturally. Yeah, and I, I saw Ranba in the- in This the is so fucking coming yeah, 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 yeah. Slime Zodia. I need that flavor text, I fucking need that? I must be the first to be. Yeah. I saw Ranma in the in the in the voice chat and I'm like, no, please. I finally got this fucking thing. Just let me have it. But then <laughs> I, I eventually I got kicked out for it. For inactivity, yeah. Immediately got killed. <laughs> and Goonwright got the fucking thing and I, I'm still mad to this. You, you mean you won it fair and square, is what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Connor. So the forbidden stuffed crust like heals like 50 quadrillion hunger, which is 50 quadrillion more hunger than you could ever have. <laughs> but it's really feeling. It's really feeling. It's really good, though. Yeah, yeah. It's real good. Um, where, where were we? We're talking about hunting and milling, all this new fucking stuff added along with Slime Corp. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. So farming had been in the game for a long time, since season two, but it was completely, utterly superfluous and literally did not matter whatsoever. There was literally nothing fucking happening. There was literally no reason to farm at all. And so, we added million, which is what you originally envisioned farming being. It just yeah. took us like a farming billion Farming was originally years. supposed to involve, you would, yeah, you would get the vegetables, mm. but you wouldn't just get slime from them. You yeah. would take them and you would, like, mill them, and yeah. you would get slime from that, and also, like, ingredients yeah. for stuff for crafting. And so for a while, it was just, you know, plant a poge in the ground, it grows into slime, and you get it. Then I, then there was, like, you know, you grow, and you can get uh, slime and vegetables, and it was cool and all. But now you can mill, and when you put a vegetable in a milling container, in a slime corp grade milling container, then out pops fucking sick-ass loot, dog. Yeah. And this sick-ass loot became so 
easily obtainable that literally everyone in the entire fucking game was wearing the exact same outfit and wearing the exact same fucking shit. There was no biodiversity whatsoever. ever. Uh, Connor, I know you specifically were milling like a fuck ton and we're just doped out on like all, like at the same like 12 items. <laughs> yeah, but you could mill, but you, I, oh yeah. I hadn't played Endless War uh, since the start of season two. Yeah, uh, uh, so yeah. like a year later, milling comes out and like all I do is plant pogens, wait three hours, and then put all of the stuff in the milling machine. I oh, shit, I got the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a mechanic and it's sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, impediment to everything, but like it's there. <laughs> you, so why now, not do it? But now you could feed your slimeoid dye, and you could change its color, bro. Oh, dude, dude, did you, dude, been saying? I got some fucking rainbow dye right here, dude. You wanna have some rainbow dye? Put the, put this in master slime ramp, bro. Dude, put put this rainbow dye. It'll be so fucking good. What? Charger. <laughs> that, Char that thing's unplugged. Oh, what? What? Because the poster fell on it. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> this. Be good. That's for the Wii. Huh? Yeah, yeah it's for the fucking Wii. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, the Wii's unplugged. It's in charge of the wall no, it's over there. Not. It should be. It just has like. Yeah, it has like a green saber. Yeah, no, that, that definitely means that it's about to die soon. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I'm not panic. Wait, wait. Oh, God, be careful. Uh, oh, you can't do it. Pin. What do you mean? It's not the, the big pin. Can you, is that the is ground that, pin? Oh, no. The ground pin. Uh, yeah, that's that's why I was. Wait. Here. Unplug the top pin there. Wait, does it not unplug the top pin? No, no the I lighting. Plug, you can use this if you need to. There we go. Oh, oh, oh started out. We're good. All right. All right. Sorry All right. Careful. Don't step on that. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? What were we talking about? Milling. Uh, 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 Milling uh, uh, yep. Slime yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Vincent, use this rainbow dye. You'll be able to defeat any slimeoid in battle, no matter how fucking terrifying they are. Okay. Dip them on them. Fucking get them, boys! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> A uh, rainbow dye made just slimeoid uh, terrible. It could be, <laughs> except it like it didn't at first. It made them super good uh, because I did it. I did. I coded it like backwards, and I made it actually like the best of the game by far. And then Magix fixed it. Like it, how it goes every single update in the entire game because <laughs> I want to do something that does the exact fucking opposite of it. And then three weeks go by and Magix patches it out. Yes. Um, right. That's right. Correct. H hunting comes out after a slime corp energy. I, I, I want to mention, by the way, that when you release a quarterly goal, what happens isn't just like an update is released. There's an entire fucking day-long event where gameplay goons conspire to make sure that a, 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 a narrative cannot play out <laughs> while, the, while the entire other server wants it to play out. <laughs> so, so for instance, for the, for, for the first couple quarterly reports, it's like you... Um, uh, for the first quarterly report, when you finished it, this is right before mut mutation come out. There's a mysterious message, a mysterious transmission come out uh, by one of the Suncorp executives. And if you went over and killed that Suncorp executive, then they dropped some folders, much like Nate. And then you were able to go, and if you were able to do stuff, you were able to like X much point descend into the mines, solve a puzzle, get a link to a Discord server, go to that server, read a bunch of lore, and then think, wow, what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and so after this one, uh, before hunting came out, there was a whole fucking giant, oh my god, it was literally the worst experience of my life. Caroline, do you remember before I went to college, and for the last couple fucking days, I was just up all fucking night on my shanty ass fucking, I didn't even have a table, I was like on like a cabinet, just like this one. Just like trying to type as fast as I fucking could all this goddamn text that I know no one would fucking read and it was completely irrelevant. Yeah, it was the Woo! worst thing ever, and no one liked it. I wanted to like, like, say hi to you. I wanted to still, like, yeah. say hi to my boyfriend for like a second. You were like, <laughs> 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 out of my slime. Yeah. <laughs> And, and so, I mean, this whole fucking convoluted thing where it's like you you had to get a specific mutations and then you had to warp inside of an area you weren't supposed to be able to go in and they had to go on very different levels of this underground lair, this underground laboratory, and then solve clues. And there was a whole roundabout thing where you had to hack in to shroom the Slime Corp Solar Man's need not explain who that is. You log into his computer, find out he's a Nate head and a porn addict, and it's terrible. <laughs> and, and, and they get a passcode. They go to another part of the server where they had to deduce that you had to copy another executive. Slime Corp executives 
slimeoid to have the exact specifications, and then it will fucking read your slimeoid if you've copied it perfectly, and you'll be able to go into their office, and then you'll be able to find out that they actually code a robot who is also a slime corp executive, and you'll be able to go to that robot, and you will be able to debug that robot if you do it correctly. And when you debug that robot, after, by the way, fishing it out of the sea 27 five uh, uh, paper shreds and smelting paper shreds together. Once you do that and also debug this robot, you're able to cross combine them into a Venn diagram and then you'll be able to access a code that will allow you into an underground lair at the bottom of this thing. And then you'll be able to enter this fucking lair and this is where lore will happen. But Ethan <laughs> fucked up completely and it did not work. And so meanwhile, I am like 3 a.m. I've been waiting for this energy to happen so I can out outplay this like lore thing. There's like characters that I'm cosplaying as. I have to do it. And Ethan, like, made the update impossible to achieve the ending because he pulled a munchie and he did, like, an equal sign where he should have done a greater than sign or something. Uh, you want to have a look at yeah, Caroline? I want to say that while you're doing this, I every time I try to ask you, like, what, so, like, what are you doing? You go, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, like, can, what, can I see you someday? And you're like, G yeah. Cut smash cut to like seven weeks later. Yeah. Like, no, I probably like, tomorrow you'll see me. Yeah. End, of the month. End of the month. End of the month. End of the month. End of the month. And, and so I have to like edit Connor's role manually to allow him to do to see the thing. And so keep in mind that I am like trying to roll I'm trying to role play literally twelve different characters at the exact same time. So I'm just logging in and out of Discord accounts over and over and over again. So there's like five minutes delay per fucking message between each other. And it basically just amounts to the fact that Slime Corp loves money. Money, which we already <laughs> fucking knew. <laughs> yeah, Ethan. Ethan. No, 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 yeah, during this whole fucking thing, like, I was so worried, like, oh my god, is the, is the entire thing broken? And I, and I just like, message you, and you're like, no, no speak, I am maximum half. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's fucking great, and after that happens, after, after, and this like, just happens every fucking day nowadays, it's just, I fucking give my blood and my bread and everything I give to people, and it doesn't matter, because I am fucking concocted my own cage, and it amounts to nothing. I'm spending 15,000 hours to accomplish what could be said in a single fucking word. Uh, after I do that, then this fucking piece of shit fucking manly comes over here, Ethan walls up with the fucking update that everyone was like, oh my god, wow, I fucking love you, Ethan. I'm going to kill you. I'm literally going to fucking kill you. And so now, out on the outskirts of the city, if you're like, let, let's say on the edge of the city, you think, I, I mean, I'm, I'm in um, West Glocksbury. What if I uh, stepped over the line? You're on the outskirts now. It, they always existed in lore, but now you can actually mechanically go to them now. And there's like scary fucking things in there, dude. There's fucking, there's like vampires and shit. I don't even fucking know. It's yeah. Slime pyres. Yeah, 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 yeah slime pyres. <laughs> Well, which, which, by the way, okay, okay. By the way, I want to say that Ethan, this was like the funniest thing in the entire world because this like shows like the pedantic relationship between like, you know, the ideas guy and like the actual coder because we have such strong creative differences that we will fucking like change code. And so I come up with the genius name for the generic enemy of the Slimosaur. And this will be the generic enemy. And then you think, fuck that. Dino Slime. This is way better. <laughs> Change everything, <laughs> and everyone goes on the outskirts. Matt again is just trying to fucking obstruct justice wherever he fucking can, and trying to make trying to make sure that no one can complete the ARG and that only he is the villain. Or yeah, yeah. Just like spamming commands to make the bot lag out, like so that nobody can do anything. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Um, and I think it's about time that while all the Slime Corp stuff is going on, we think, okay, we found the new villain of RFK, Matt. But, but besides Matt, oh. it, it's Slime Corp. Oh. We think we've reached the ultimate enemy. We think we've known it all. We think we know, all right, this is going to be a clean and cut case. We can progress the story in a normal way without having to wait for other things to happen. Then Ben okay. Saint wakes up from like a, stu a drunk stupor, <laughs> realizes the illness war exists again, and he's like, wait a second, what if I ruined everything? <laughs> okay. Okay, I, 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 I kicked a sleeping giant and I caused, <laughs> and I caused a minor apocalypse. <laughs> so, minor. all right. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Christine Weston Chandler. And, oh. and I was just, I just happened to be reading some of her work, right? Just appreciating like good art, right? In my chosen medium, right, of comics. And I read about Christine's Pony Sona Night Star. And Night Star has one green eye. And I'm like, that's cool. Tell me more. 
And she says, yeah, I have a green eye because when I was little, I got slime in it. And I'm experimenting. Oh, no! and, I, and my brain fucking explodes. And I'm like, this, oh, this, 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 I have to explore this. I have to delve into this. So I draw some, I draw some, some pictures, right? I draw like, some like, stupid fucking some, chicken some, like Some like meaningless, like you had no idea of what would happen. I just, I just draw a night star getting some slime in her eye and then she sees New Los Angeles City yeah. through that. What does it mean? Doesn't matter. And then I go back and I'm like, huh, what a phantom horn. Do I need to explain? No, no, don't, don't, worry, yeah. don't worry about Phantom Horn. He's way he's way beyond the scope of yeah, this yeah, lecture I, right now. So I draw like what if he met Nightstar? What if Strawberry Milk was there? What if she fucking banished their asses to New Los Angeles City and they had to become slime boys and hit the fucking mines and learn to fucking kill each other like real gangsters? So that's what I did. And Christine, she sees it, and she's like, hey, this is a nice, nice fan comic. Retweet. And, and then the, the, the end of my straps The end of my time, like, I, this is it. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> so I spent the next three months, Greg, just like page after page of telling the story. Telling the story of Phantom Horn and Strawberry Milk making their way downtown in New Los Angeles and, City, and getting slime, learning learning from uh, the humble juvie uh, himself. All, all, all timelines, fucking weird. Well, like the, Well, and then... And then, Chris Chan Sonichu decided that that wasn't good enough. She wanted to make an appearance herself, so she appeared in her. She drew it. It happened. Every, everything's canon. Everything's canon all the time. So this is canon because somebody drew it, and she showed up and she said, "You know, this is all pretty cool. This is a cute little fan comic, but I'm not so sure about all this slime stuff. It's kind of like gross and maybe evil. And maybe I should just eradicate all of it." And Kill everyone and commit no, massive Jesus. genocide and end the lives of seventy thousand innocent people. Yup, Do, doing it. So Nightstar gets the slime. He does some fucking experiments on it. Determines scientifically that the way to destroy slimes with a mixture of sugar, bicarbonate of soda, and water. So Chris Chan So simple. So simple. Comes, okay, this is comes from from a. Uh, where does she fucking live? Quickville, so, yeah. from Quick, flies over from Quickville with an army of Sonichus, <laughs> br brings the fucking thunder, literally, because of a thunderstorm that brings the bicarbonate rain and rains down on the city. No! Obliterates everyone. Ah! Oh, God! Everyone is fucking melted and no! turned into a spooky skeleton on the ground, but it's okay because that was only one timeline and, the other and like different versions of the thing. Okay, all the timelines are converging now. The finale is coming, right? I'm not going to spoil it. But this all happened and everything. And the rain came and it ruined everyone's no, lives. No, no I, I want to say that this isn't like, you know... Let the it, rain fall down and break my dreams. But, but I need to make sure that you realize that this isn't just like, you know, in the comic that rain has happened. No, after an no. update released for this, yeah. Magic was like, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> and then added the game. <laughs> added, yeah. the, added the rain to the game. So now, literally, because of Chris Chan, when you load an endless war, sometimes you'll just fucking you'll just, die. You'll just spawn <laughs> into, into the world and it will be raining and it will just obliterate <laughs> your body and mind and send you to the sewers and you just have to well you just gotta deal with it you just uh, wait 50 minutes yeah okay. and, and, and it's important to understand that like obviously like the whole world of like endless war and like Neo Milwaukee is fictional but Chris Chan literally believes that it, like, like I mean you know speaking, literally believes that it's real it's all different so, dimensions so, it's all so, real so when, so when she rain like like calls the rain down upon the city like, she literally believes that she's killing 70,000 70, <laughs> real, like, by, by real her, people. By her own estimate. Real fucking people. By her own estimate, the rain killed 1% of the population of Arizona, which is 70,000 people. Yeah. yeah. So. I think it's important to add a little side note. While you, Ben, are working on this comic, like, day in, day out, you are not doing anything else except this comic. You have just launched a very successful Kickstarter for another project. Oh, All right. these people are very excited. They're waiting right. for you to, like, do some, like, you know, to, to, to get this out, to get this printed, to, like, to get the, get the, the scripts to the, to the <laughs> You have Shut completely up. forgotten Shut about that. Yeah, but I rolled it in. I rolled it in. I made the Kickstarter stretch anything. goals. I so made a new character. It's all, it's all part of it. So, it's all part of the extended so, so universe. So, you need to understand that 
me and Ben. Uberty is real. Me and Ben are mad geniuses who get thoughts into our minds and just fucking work on them and work on them and then work on them and just make them so convoluted and complicated and they only cause suffering for the people that we make them for. <laughs> so, so Ben is like, dude, what if? And then millions are dead. And like, <laughs> I, and I'm like, dude, what if? And fucking Matt has killed everyone and everyone's corpus on the fucking floor and the paper shreds have been deleted and I had to spawn in more. It's a fucking nightmare. Why do we do this to ourselves and the people we love, Ben? I don't know. Sash, 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 I'm just, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Like, whatever. Um, oh god. And then, and then, oh Jesus Christ. It's oh the my holiday God. season. It's the holidays. This this is the part this, this is the part of the lecture where it gets so close to present day where it's like, oh my fucking God. This shit I remember this like it was yesterday. This is culture. I, 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 I hate this, that person. This is, yeah. this is what's wrong with with the culture, with society. But, what's going on right now? But by the way, I need you to understand, people, that like the idea of culture death has been such a long standing arsky tradition, where it's like, it meant, like we were here the drag race, and we thought to ourselves, man, that sh uh, the back in the day shit was good, but now it's so fucking bad. The drag race, uh, that's literally which a is fucking proof meme. That culture yeah, yeah, it's, is dead. it's just proof that it's a this nightmare. This would never have happened. Like back two, in the negapod. Two, two days later, we're like, this shit sucks. Remember the drag race? That was so <laughs> fun. <laughs> that was awesome. That was the, that last, was so the last good thing that ever <laughs> came out of any war. <laughs> So, so now, so now all the devs like spend like thousands of hours. So they all been fucking grilled in nurses' offices, and they're like, I cannot release uh, like an, uh, an imperfect project. I cannot release any update that has not been polished to the fucking core. So I'm take five fucking hours. Meanwhile, like back in hours. the day, we would make like a we would program stocks in like one day, not even really consider how they worked, put it out there, <laughs> destroy it, yeah. without even thinking about it. Was like, like, I was concerned with like I didn't have the word culture that, but I was basically concerned with culture that. Since like week one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's been, been an it's the entire idea. history of Endless War has just been a slow decline. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet, and like through it. Cough. Wait, are, are you gonna talk about Double Halloween? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, and so, um, I lost my fucking train of thought because of this shit. Double Halloween. Du double, du oh, double, holidays. double fucking Halloween. Oh yeah, I was just recalling like yeah, okay, th these happened so recently. So this is fucking current day events, basically, circa like a couple months ago. So, Double Halloween. Halloween, yeah. but two. Slush, How did slush, the original slush. idea of ha Double Halloween was around last year? How did that come about? Like, what, did we, people just say, like, what are we going to do for Halloween? Yeah. It's Double Halloween now? Uh, it, it was, was like, it Acro? Yeah. Like, oh, we should have, like, I, I don't know. Acro got really into the idea of Double Halloween, but I don't know if, who said it first. It was a thing, like, like bef way before, like, a year before it actually was implemented in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, like, during Halloween, double Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if we had Halloween times? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Um, I think the idea was, since we're all, like, freaks, goons, and, like, uh, monsters anyway, double Halloween, it's like that, but, like, double. More, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. And, and, and so, like, you know, you know like, Slimer and Nolia last time was, like, a big <clears throat> deal, but it didn't really change a whole lot. And, but Ethan over here is like, double Halloween. All right, time to, like, make all this crazy shit that does not need to be added, but I'm just, like, a fucking monster madman. And so, like, dude, like he gets, like, this dude, like, dude, what if millions are dead? Like, dude, where are you getting a ticket? You can go to hell. You can literally go to fucking hell. You can ride an abandoned subway line and go to the depths of Tartarus, and you can, you, you can beckon a demon to destroy you and your family if you so choose. And everyone did it because it sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Keep, keep in mind, like, like for the first half of Double Halloween, everybody was just fucking trick or treating. Oh, yeah. And they actually did nothing but fucking the flavor text. Okay, how do I mitigate this? Yeah. And, and, I, and I used the old mechanic I made where you, you can just like, fucking like, crush a potion in your hand and you can get slime. I'm thinking, like, dude. What if you could fucking like crush candy and <laughs> get like like fucking like candy mush and like, get like a hundred pieces of just like fucking worthless candy? You could like somehow make a ticket to hell. <laughs> <laughs> And so, <laughs> yeah. uh, the people go to hell in droves, and then people are just throwing themselves at this, the double headless horseman, with the, with the double headless horse, I presume. Um, just trying to attack him, and trying to defeat him, but no one can do it because he's so fucking powerful. He's such a big fucking man. But, a lowly gang from, from, the, from the depths of society, they were kings of the Minecraft server way back at like the, the end no. of se season one. Come they come on. from the depths, and they come in, they come on in. Would you, would you like to say a few words? About this gang, about this oh, fucking oh, gang. Oh, that is, that is, oh, it contributes so much harm to gay lore. Yeah! I love to so so
Juggalos for life, Terezi is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. Yeah. <laughs> um, a truly a rival to the yellow Yakuza. Truly a rival. Um, and so they come in and basically like easily pacify the double headless horseman. Like without without a thought, yeah. Basically, the leader of the Terezi gang, Shawnee, because basically the double headless double horseman comes in and everyone's like, Oh, how are we gonna kill? How are we gonna kill? How are we gonna? Oh, it's so powerful! And then we're like, oh, we'll have the rowdies and killers like have like a truce, and we'll like, and we'll like get like a bunch <laughs> of people. We'll like, we'll like get like a bunch of people. They'll get like a million times, and then we'll all just like bum rush in there and kill everybody. And 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 Shawnee, the leader of t- the Terezi gang, is like, um, like, <laughs> like, like that's stupid. <laughs> like, like, like. like you don't need to do that. Just like use strategy. <laughs> and, then, and then Shawnee's like, okay, like we'll just get a bunch of weapon levels, and we'll get a couple of us will go in there, and, and we'll kill the double headless double horseman in like one hit. <laughs> and, we, and so we spend a whole night like stra- like Ethan can tell more about like the like te- like practical levels. Like I like uh, like uh, like, uh, like he gave a bunch of people credit for it that like didn't actually do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In the voice call, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He, but, oh, okay, okay, so like my, my, my goal for all this was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking unify people for the holidays. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I I made hell. Like you know, in, in spite of the fact that it's literally hell, I made hell like a non PVP zone. <laughs> 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 and shit. Um, but like Shawnee just comes in, he's like, like no, that's dumb. <laughs> Understand to gain weapon levels in endless war, you have to like kill someone who's a higher level than you. Mm-hmm. So like what Shawnee did, he just he stayed at a low level and just kept killing Callum over and over like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, and he just got like high enough katana level to like kill the fucking gray boss in one hit. <laughs> Shawnee has a hundred slime and he kills someone with a hundred and one, and his weapon level goes to a billion. <laughs> <laughs> of Shawnee just like slicing and dicing cows. <laughs> <laughs> And so, once he has Japanese steel full of a thousand time with British blood, he goes down there to hell and just like taps the headless horse in one and explodes to a thousand pieces. And, and, yeah. and, and meanwhile, like Kip and Matt are like are like are like fucking like butting heads together. Like, like we like we gotta do this. We like we gotta figure out how to fucking do this. You know, I'm sure he's just like uh like like uh, yeah. and then, just pop him like a balloon. And it was like, Ethan has to change the raid boss so that he won't keep spawning over and over because Shawnee could just like keep killing him a billion yeah. times like in one hit and gain, <laughs> gain more slime than is even possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a nightmare. And that was a nightmare and it was the worst mistake of our fucking lives. Um, more holidays. Slimerallia 2. Slimerallia 2. two. Slimer two. It like, was just... like the first one. Yeah, like but but was... more. Yeah. Uh, now you could be a kingpin of Slimerallia. If you like ate a lot of food and if you did stuff that was festive, oh. then you became kingpin of Slimerallia. For the first like six hours, Kino. Literally the best time of Endless War in oh. Tyler. Literally a very culture death. Then it was like ruined and then it got double ruined like <laughs> times five. <laughs> so so Camman walks here and, and, and like a fucking moron, I even consider the fact that Slime Coin exists. And I fucking come off my high horse and I think, okay, I'll give something to the bankers. But in fact, I don't give something to the bankers. I give literally the entire house my car keys and permission to fuck my wife. And, and, and the bankers can just easily snap their fingers and they fucking win. Uh, they get a billion uh, festivity and they're able to be on the leaderboard. And if you're at the top of the festivity leaderboard, be a kingpin of and it does literally nothing. But you can post in like yeah. the rules channel and you can be like a cool guy. Yeah. And this is unacceptable. You, you just had to be the most festive for yeah, Slimerdalia. Yeah. And if you were like the part Party, hardest partier than yeah. you were then then that was it. Or, we, we, how, we ranked how we ranked how in the holiday spirit you yeah. were based on how much you were willing to spend on it. Yeah, but if I foolishly allowed the fucking bankers just to come here and type on their fucking keyboard and get massive festivity. And so Can Man's Zaw, like Kingpin of Slimernalia for three days and I think no one could possibly be King of Slimernalia for this <laughs> amount of time. That's insane. Can Man get fucked and I obliterate him completely. <laughs> and, and and then I'm like, okay, I'm going on vacation guys, you know, stay stay hold, hold down the fort. I'm heading out now. You know, I am glad I averted this crisis. I'll see you again sometime soon. And then, I, and then I come back, and I'm like, oh, check, Paddle, how long have you been in uh, Kingdom of Slimanalia? Oh, since Can Man left. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like Can Man was Kingdom of Slimanalia for like, like four days, and you were like, that's way too long. <laughs> and, like, 
and, and trackpad was king for, for like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And nobody did anything. Stupidity. How did trackpad become like kingpin for like three weeks? Because I was gone, I wasn't checking the server, and I guess like no one cared, and so it didn't matter. Oh yeah, what? <clears throat> Trackpad spent all day mining slime just to throw it away in the casino because that was the best way to gain festivity. <laughs> 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 just no one else wanted to <laughs> 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 Yeah. Well, no, no one wanted to be as autistic as, as, as fucking Trackpad. They were too busy working on trying to get the Giga slime. Oh, no. right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, God. What a fucking basically man. basically just, you know, like a 10-foot slime oid, you know, yeah. one oh. billion slime. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. What? Oh, the what? Giga Slime Oid. If it yeah. happened, it uh, would have been. And by work on it, uh, everyone just said, no, that's not possible, even though it would have easily been possible. <laughs> <laughs> if we, try, if we so tried it, it all. And then it like, stopped it from ever happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Instead of doing something productive like that, we just spam that everyone's for hours. Oh, yeah. 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 But, by the way, if you join the server during December, don't worry, that that's not normal. I mean, it's normal, but it's not normal. So if you got, you know, let's say 10,000 messages in Graffiti 30, Wall. 30,000. The 30,000 messages in Graffiti Wall from the same two people just saying, excellent point, yo, Slammer, no, I am. Uh, over and over and over again, like drunkards on the street. Don't worry, that only happens once every couple days. It's all right, don't worry. Just join the server. Oh, God. What even else is there? That's like the that's end, it. dude. That's, that's no, like today. No. That was that was December. Now it's January. No, no, let's We're in present. Let's discuss. That's the whole history. Let's discuss the culture of the server at this point because we need to make this about the people who could theoretically be joined. Because listen, season one, based, based, <laughs> old fags, no slur, just based. Nega born deads, they're basically just people from season one. So they're basically just based. Tumors, dude, I love playing the game. I love territory <laughs> control. Dude, based. Yeah. Based as hell. Dude, season 1.5, no one joined her in this. Dude, Johnny, 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 Johnny. Johnny. Did he really? Johnny. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. He's based. Oh my god, he's so fucking banged. <laughs> uh, season three. Season three is longer than I've been alive. Season three is like the longest thing that's ever been experienced by a human before. And so they've been waves. There's, There's been the... Just like every other season, nobody good has ever yeah, joined yeah, during yeah. this current season. Yeah, yeah. They've just gone from like shit retards to even shittier retards <laughs> in this time. So you have like early season, early three tards and they're like really bad. But then you have like mid-season three tards and they're like... Really bad, and now you have late season three three tards, and they have concocted some lore for us. Oh, oh, some... oh, 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 no. So let's not let's not even talk about it. <laughs> Slimer main. No! No! no. no. Culture yeah. death. Culture death. This is it. Culture this is it. Culture that culture was it. Right. right. That was the moment the culture died. Oh God. Take take me back to uh, to to quarterly report. End of quarterly report two. It was so much better than. Oh God. I want to go back. Oh God. River Callum. I love that tumor so much. It was so good. They they jumped the carp. They overdid it. Um. Uh, and so uh, Slimer made people are just you if you join nowadays. Yeah, you know, they, they, the they're worst. gonna be you, and you have to fucking prove yourself. Because these Slimer made people, here's the difference between these God fearing based people is that if you joined even the lowly, disgusting Johnny Mellership in season 1.5, you. Ba based. But, 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 but at one point he wasn't based, which is extremely weird to think about, I know. He <laughs> had to integrate, and he had to fucking come to terms with the fact that, listen, in RFCK, you are just shit. Forever until arbitrarily there's a new season and then you're fucking based. <laughs> and, you're fucking and everything you say is fucking based. <laughs> he was like, I'm determined with that. And so he fucking stuck it out, and then like two seconds later it became a new season, and he was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm great now. Yeah, yeah. And so the Slammer made people broke that tradition thinking, no, no, listen, we're cool right now, guys. <laughs> listen, listen, there's so much lore for the Slammer Maid. The Slammer Maid is a Slime Mermaid. And that's really interesting. <laughs> and that deserves like zines upon prose upon paragraphs. I mean, let, let me Jeff. I mean, hey, like, I mean, I, I mean don't like, like, wait, if, you know, wait. it's, it's kind of good actually. Like, some, it's, like, it's kind of epic though, like a little bit, like a slime mermaid. Like, that's kind of cool. Right? So slowly, kind of interesting. So slow, right? Slowly fade into Vincent's profile with bracket slime mermaid. <laughs> later no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, um, can you? Ooh, the sli Slimer made people will tell you. I yes, know a few people who really yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
like a like a furries? Are they like role? No. Slime? Okay. Okay. Well, so we didn't really explain at the beginning. Slimer made or just here's it's what, like not important. The details yeah, yeah. don't matter. All you need to know is that they're just, just know that it's awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A, a bunch of three tard runs were fishing, you know, at the pier, and they thought, bro, what if there was a slime mermaid? And then their brains exploded. <laughs> the idea of the and then they thought, no one can top this. Thing. And, and, and then they devoted their entire like lives and like personalities in the server to pursuing this idea. Which is like is obviously true. Like just like anything that you say is true is already true. So you didn't even have to convince us. There's literally us. no question as to whether a slime mermaid exists. It obviously, if, as soon I as fucked the, one myself. As soon as the question is asked, the answer is yes. Yes. Yeah. Instantly, <laughs> Connor. You, there is no slime mermaid in the game. That's fake. There's but <laughs> M- Miller said. The, the people begged Miller to add slime mermaid as a fish you could, you could like, yeah. get during fishing. Then he was like, no, I'm gonna add the slime twink instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, 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 Slime mermaid people got like so persecuted ever since they fucking like branded themselves for like the Holocaust star of David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they gave themselves the Juden star for no reason. <laughs> to, to the point where like slime mermaid has like mutated into becoming like a three tard like support group. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, and so, and so that's what I'm saying to you, dear viewer. Don't be like Slimer Don't make your own fucking side server. Don't go off into the trial realm of your own secret dark thoughts. Well, actually, do exactly what Slimer May does and join the server and bring and like well, and that, like and like per- continue culture. That, no, that, that's what I'm saying. You have to join the server and you have to get shit on every single day. And you have to realize that yes, you are cringe, you are embarrassing, and everything you do is wrong. But don't try and be nice. Don't try and play by the rules. Just say fuck you. Make better art than all the old fucking old facts. You don't even make anything good anymore. When's the last time nobody made a drawing? Literally <laughs> never. When's the last time Sixteen made a song? Literally fucking never. Who is Juan the Alligator? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 Shut the fuck <laughs> up! And End it! And so instead of just fucking twiddling your dick, oh, fucking add Slimer Maid, get fucking in there, be shit on, and then once we get to season four, end of the month, then you will be based, 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 Endless war we honor thee, God, new Los Angeles city. May slime flow eternally to our beloved home, praise be. From the walls to docks, neat the canyons gaping maw. We live in equal shots, joy and awe. From the hard-working miners to the proud. Our homes are support upon which we gladly lean. Neo Milwaukee, home of the prosperous, endless war, keep us safe within your fold, peaceful and thriving. Fucking added this shit where okay, cut off there. <laughs> <laughs>